Hey everybody, welcome back to a great episode of the Unbreakable Sentai Podcast. I'm James. Ooh, ooh. I'm Darius. And I'm Noah. We got, uh, we got, we got episode it. 24, baby. He got it! He did it. He did it. We the got episode 24. I didn't even have to bring up the thing that I brought uh, up. We're, we're, we're coming up on a year, aren't we? Uh, uh yeah. Kind of. A year is in February, correct? Let's find out. I'll go to the I end. Think. We're over 100 videos, so that's cool. Hey. Wow. Yeah. We're fancy. Consistency. We are not leaving, broke, broken sentai. We're leaving yet. a footprint into the, the big, big world of YouTube. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Wading the waters. Yeah. yeah, our first episode of the pop- podcast was February 24th. Dang. So we're coming up. Yep. What are we going to do for our first year anniversary, James? <sighs> we're going to give a giveaway. And go to Disney World. Yeah, we actually should do yeah, we're, get, a give giveaway. Give a giveaway. Yeah. 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 If, you, if you listen to this and you... DM me on Discord. The first person to DM me about uh, the first year video on February 24th will get a Steam game from your wish list. Dang. From me. I mean, I'll, I'll chip in too. Yeah. From us. <laughs> from us. Whatever. It's going to be like 20 What bucks. if we just do it? Hey, man. That's true. <laughs> I never put a stipulation. You didn't. There's no asters. Well, James, looks like you get a game this year. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Just make another account. <laughs> I've got, I've got to. <laughs> okay, I've got a lot of stuff to talk about with did video we, games. Oh, uh, Larry King passed away. Today. Oh, did he? Yeah, Damn. I think COVID. Was it? I think so. I, I just saw that he passed away in hospital. I, I didn't read what the issue was. He was old. Him. Yeah, he's like eighty two something. Yeah. yeah. I used to watch Larry King when I was like 11 because I thought it made me sophisticated. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I never really cared for late night talk shows. I'll watch like clips sometimes, though. He's a master interviewer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah he's he's like top of the top, creme de la creme. Up Absolutely. There with, up there with uh, like the 60 minutes Howard people. Stern. What? I was like up there with the Howard, the, the, the 60 minutes people. You know, they always do the 60 minute interviews. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know anyone who but, does 60 minute interviews. But yeah, I say like him and Howard Stern are like probably the top interviewers. Mm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say Jay Leno. I like, I, I think he's just Is fine. He still doing it. I don't know, but like, I never thought he was like a good interviewer. If I Jay, really if never. Jay Leno stopped doing it. His chin is still doing it. So I honestly never All thought. All I know is that he owns a billion cars. That's a lot of cars. It's too many cars. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly just thought he wasn't very like intriguing to watch but i was well, also like robbie a child, rotten so <laughs> what the fuck do i know a pudgy or robbie rotten yeah, rest dude. in peace <laughs> love you robbie rotten. I, was, I was i was like always a, a, a conan fan other than oh, jay yeah. leno conan conan yeah o'brien yeah okay i was just saying it, conan is a different yeah you're 100 percent right <laughs> conan the barbarian that's where i was going i'd, wa- I'd watch that interview <laughs> <if I'm honest. laughs> bring arnold in you know dress him back up Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's good shit. Please don't play. It's playing. <laughs> it's, it's a video of Robin and Red X saving the Teen Titans because oh, I've been on a DC animation kick. Oh yeah, and I just wanted to watch it. So, fuck me, right? Teen Titans was great. Yep, it's on HBO. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching Young Justice currently right now. Nice on HBO. Yeah, like the entirety of it, or just the new season? Oh, uh, the new season. I've watched the entirety of it three yeah. times. Oh, yeah, okay. he's he's caught up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude's current. Um, no, there's there's a lot of poke. Uh, not Pokemon. Blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of video game stuff that happened. Well, week. hold on, hold on, hold on. I <laughs> got him. Shout out to the man who made the formula for the everything bagel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Darius got his mind blown today. That thing is fucking phenomenal. They're pretty good. Yeah, I, I used was to make breakfast sandwiches with them. They're they're freaking good, good, dude. I don't know who what fucking mastermind was like. Let me throw everything on it. It was probably a dude who literally went fuck it, just fuck it, and just started <laughs> throwing shit on it. Are, bagels is that like a is that like a British thing or is that like a Canadian thing a or just York pure thing. American? <laughs> is it a New York thing? I don't know. <laughs> probably not. It's probably European. You're probably right. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look up the first bagel, who made who made bagels. I wouldn't Where be surprised if this is a bagels. Canadian thing. Isn't Canadian? Yeah. Isn't Canada famous for bagels? Germany. No clue. Germany. Uh, Germany or Israel. Okay. 
<laughs> I kind of wanted to say like fight it out, Germany guys. Let's see, or, let's like, see who really a country it. around Germany, just because I think like pretzels came from some fucking country near them. Uh, this thing basically says though that uh, um, they're 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 a Jewish creation, which is like why it says Israel and Germany because <laughs> uh. apparently it came from like Germany Poland area, but Jewish people are the ones who made it. I don't know. That's literally the the two sentences I read from the Atlantic. That's on the first page of of Google here. <laughs> okay, okay. So <laughs> the secret history of bagels. Ooh. That means they're trying to hide it from you. Reptilians. The oh. reptoids oh, made shit. these. Oh <laughs> Well, they know what they're fucking doing. Well, shout out to the guy who who you know threw everything on there. So you hear about just like how New York bagels are the best, and like if people not in New York will like take New York water. To make bagels because they think that that like sounds a disgusting. Difference. Yeah, <laughs> New York water is like I would never want to drink New York. Yeah, water. apparently it's like different though. I'm sure um, it is from well, all the, it's from absolutely all the rats. different. Yeah, <laughs> for but all the rust and shit in those pipes. The bagels made with like that different kind of water apparently makes a difference to people well no it's the same thing with like certain noodles. You need to have water with a certain pH. So I totally get it. True, sure. you know. Speaking of New York, I love New York. I'm in like you're in a DC kick. I'm in a New York kick. Yeah. Kinda, oh yeah. I, I wish I was from New York. What borough would you guys uh, want to be from? If you could choose to be from a borough. I don't name them all. I don't know one. Brooklyn, Harlem, Queens, uh, Manhattan. Um, uh, Bronx. Staten Island. Staten Island. Staten Island. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Which I wouldn't even know. Which one sounds the coolest? They all sound cool, dude. That's what. That's the thing. Like, sure. They they all just they sound come with an air of respect. Huh? Uh, said they all come with like an air of respect. Yeah. <laughs> Except Bronx. Bronx apparently Bronx. All the nobody, crazy nobody respects the Bronx. Er, yeah. Apparently, all the crazy people go for Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. Queens. Queens is good, dude. I don't know. Where would you? Where do you want to be from? Uh, <laughs> your New York Sona from? Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I, will, I think I'll probably be. Are you be ready from, to draw our New York Sonas, Noah? <laughs> be from Harlem. I think I might be a Harlem boy. Give Harlem. me, give me my Tims. Make sure I get my Tims in the artwork. <laughs> <laughs> not, the, not the Tims. Not, not the Tims. Not the Tims. <laughs> yeah, I'm Staten Island. Yeah. Fuck it. I, don't, I have no clue yeah. what any of this means. I was about to call you a bougie fuck, but I don't really know if Staten <laughs> Island's a no bourgeoisie idea. place. I think like, I think like Manhattan is considered like bougie. I don't oh. know. I don't know really. I don't really know shit about New York. I gotta go there. I know that something's calling me to so New my York. My friend James. lives in New York right now. Let's go meet him. That's why I always ask Dan questions about New York because I'm just interested. <laughs> yeah, but he's not in. He's yeah. not from New York. Yeah, but he's a part of it, James. But he's, he's not. He's somewhat yeah. connected he, to he it. He was hours okay, he outside of the city. Somewhat though. connected to it. He's been there. That's like saying we've that I'm been connected. there. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> the city, city? No. no. Oh yeah, that's why he's been to the city, city. So is Trisha. I didn't know that Trisha. What? Yeah. Now to talk to her about her New York adventures. Yeah. Yeah, she's totally been. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> but yeah, so something's calling me there. I don't know what yeah. it is. Why maybe the, maybe your spider powers are calling you there. Maybe. Yeah, maybe you'll get bit by a spider and yeah. die. Okay, <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm, I'm good to talk about bullshit. Yeah, Do you have you're anything good. to talk about, Noah? No. Okay. All right. So we got a lot of well, shout out to the guy. No, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm shout playing. out to that one dude who made the animation that made me laugh this week. Yeah, we'll show Darius that when we get done with the podcast. It's the 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 dude who got Played really hot RPG, recently. RPG of, for the first time. Yeah, the first time and when the second time. When you hear time. enemy music, and yeah. then when you play RPG for a second time. Yep, this dude's, is dude's stuff wonderful. is great. Fucking just phenomenal <laughs> <It's> stuff. <great. laughs> I almost said shout out to the animation guy for like the thing. <laughs> 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 like that'd be useful for anybody the 30 second bookmark yeah <laughs> um so i found out that there's gonna be a spongebob prequel show yeah camp oh, God. whatever yeah camp crusty crab which is spongebob that, that simpsons apparently it was in the bit. movie kind yeah. of i felt bad because i was one of those lore idiots when i saw when i read that 
Because I, I coral or something. I think. Yeah. Uh, SpongeBob prequel. No, I haven't watched SpongeBob in fucking decades. So. Well, I I felt like a loser because it was like straight up. It's like yeah, everybody was there when they were kids, and it's like Squidward was there, and SpongeBob was there, and Mr. Krabs is their like leader, and yeah, did they do a Plankton SpongeBob is the cook. Met. Uh, at some point yeah, yeah. And, and and sandy's there and i'm like oh, hold the fuck up yeah <laughs> sandy shows up in season one i'm pretty sure episode three baby you don't know that <laughs> i don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> he said it with the confidence though. Yeah. <laughs> but i was like no 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 that's not canon that's not canon right like and, and i'm like what Th- then it it hit me what i was saying <sighs> I was like, why do I care about the story of this kid's show that I'm not going to watch? <laughs> like, I don't want to be that loser who goes online. Well, like, technically, Sandy cheats yeah. in season one of the SpongeBob SquarePants <laughs> show. <laughs> it is clearly stated. Right. <laughs> I'm sure there's people upset, like, on the internet ranting about oh, oh, how... I'm sure. I think most people are upset because it looks the like guy... Shit. Well, that, but the guy who made it that passed away and he stated clearly that he didn't want spinoffs of his show. Yeah. Nickelodeon doesn't care. I no. forget his name. They're probably sure. waiting for him to die. They probably were, were the ones who like heard up his death. Well, SpongeBob is the thing that made them lose their morals anyway. Do you know yeah. about that? What do you mean? So Nickelodeon had this big thing when it first started where it was like, we're not going to merchandise our stuff. That's not the point. We want to make cartoons for people. We want to make cartoons for kids. And they're like, we don't want to merchandise anything. And then SpongeBob was such a hit that they were like, oh, fuck. We can't not merchandise. Exactly. This. So they were like, merch SpongeBob. Merch it, merch it, merch it. And they that fucking, they made them a shitload of money because everyone wanted SpongeBob merch. Yeah. But then they started merching everything. Because they, their whole shtick was they were like, yeah, we're animators, but we, we're not Disney. You know, sure. like we care about the product, which not saying that Disney didn't, but they were like, we don't care about making money off of it. We're here to make the item. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then they're sold, they sold their souls. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's all. literally all I had to talk about for fucking non-video game yeah. shit this week. It's a short podcast. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for listening. It's 12-Minute Podcast. <laughs> thanks for taking time out of your day. <laughs> oh, God. No, but I'm, I'm going to move on to the stuff that actually matters, um, which is video games. Um, we're going to talk about Capcom a little bit. Not Capsom. I can't fucking... Right. And everybody's thirst trapping for the fucking vampire lady. Yep, all of them. Just the Not, one. No, people are thirsting after the uh, the short blonde one that looks like the quote unquote <laughs> hot one from uh, Hocus Pocus. I've only seen stuff on the big tall one. You ain't seen enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actively search it out either. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not that much of a loser. Thanks. <laughs> uh, but no. So uh, yeah, I guess we can jump into that. Capcom had a pretty mediocre show on Thursday where they were like, check out our shit. It's Resident Evil. And then they announced a deathmatch mode, which is fine. Is that the thing? That's the multiplayer, yeah. A deathmatch mode? Yeah. It it it's in a weird art style, and like, no shit, you get to play as like Leon and Claire and Chris and like all these people. Is it first person or third person? Third person. It plays just like like really similar to how two and three remake play but when you die you transform into bow's but like you transform into like nemesis or the super tyrant or jack from fucking seven and it's like oh, okay that's weird that's okay. a neat concept i guess like th- there's like a minute long footage of like the gameplay and it looks fine it's mm. free so who gives a shit no one no one can really be that upset about it yeah clearly they have B so it just, just comes like, with uh eight okay yeah which is cool whatever um and then they showed off a little bit more gameplay of eight which i didn't need to watch because i'm gonna buy it anyway yeah and then they were like here's a demo play it and it's a visual test and it's 10 minutes long if that and darius and i both played it and it's fun yeah scary (laughs) it it got darius good a couple of times yeah (laughs) yeah Yeah, i want to sit you through it sometime tonight yeah no because it's it's just it's just fun and like the, the the atmosphere is like I was telling you, it's ten out of ten atmosphere, and like they know what they're doing. They had me stop a couple times and be like, "What was that?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but no, there was also Sony released like last or two weeks ago or something. They were like, "Hey, here's all of the video game like tentative release dates for the games that we've been showing off," 
and I was pretty bummed because Pragmata, the super cool game they showed off at E3 mm -hmm. of the like spaceman with the little girl on the moon, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, it comes out 2023. Jesus and I was like, Christ. damn. At least but, they're honest. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that sucks because I really want, like, that's one of the, the ones. It's like that, Ghostwire Tokyo, and that's really like Final Fantasy 16. I was like, fuck, those are reasons to buy a PS5 right yeah. there. And it's like, ah, I wanted it yesterday. You know, <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to happen, but it's a super cool concept that I feel like I haven't seen. And I'm like, give me that. Give me that original content, please. Thank you. Give it to me. <laughs> Um, Especially from Capcom because they don't really yeah no do that much. I legitimately didn't expect a new IP anytime soon. Yeah, because <laughs> like they can make bank off of Resident Evil, Devil May Cry, Monster Hunter, Street Fighter, Street Fighter. That's all you need. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I honestly thought they were gonna make like Dino Crisis was gonna be the next thing because why not? It's easy. Yeah, <laughs> dinosaurs are coming back into the full swing of people caring about them again, so it's like <laughs> perfect time to make a dinosaur game. Yeah. Uh, but no. No, uh, everything kind of got shafted and shunted to the side. Um, did you hear that they're making a new Indiana Jones game? Bethesda. What? Yeah. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, dude. Like Bethesda's making it or publishing it? Publishing, publishing it, but Machine Games is making it. So the people uh, who made Wolfenstein. Oh. The new ones. Weird. Yeah, super what? weird. Uh, no, no one was asking for this. They don't even have like a like a trailer or anything. There's just an image. And the what? announcement that it's like, Machine Games working on any Jones game? What do you even fucking play like? <sighs> I don't is, even know, dude. Is LucasArts not a thing anymore? No, actually. LucasArts is a thing again now. But shouldn't they be making it then? No. That makes no sense. No. no. <laughs> don't worry about it. Is LucasArts. Disney doesn't do video games. It's true. But it's LucasArts. Yeah, it's it, it, their property. Yeah, but EA probably was like, we don't have a team to spare. <laughs> EA's done. Making a Star Wars, they they. Uh, Ubisoft make, is making a, a new Star Wars game. That's fair, but that's probably because they were like, we don't have a team to spare. <laughs> I don't. I thought because uh, they like lost the exclusive rights or something. Did they? I didn't look up any. I don't. I don't know because I, I didn't care about they EA. Lost it, but I thought it was like coming up that they might not keep the license. It's fair. But yeah, Lucas Arts um, came back. Like literally, they reinstated the Lucas Arts. <laughs> logo and everything so wow. they're like we're making more games and everyone went yay <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't i don't know if i uh, care about Indiana Jones game i, I sure don't yeah did no one ask for this fucking random no. please don't make it first person right like, not unless it's tom holland as Indiana Jones i'm out it's got to just give it to naughty dog at that point yeah, that's true. Yeah. They've been making Indiana Jones yeah. games for the past 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> 20 years, fuck. Yeah, give it to Night Dog. <laughs> and it's, it's probably just going to be like younger indie, which I don't... Who cares? I don't, yeah, I don't like, he he had his time. Like He's cool, but... But go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah. Like, we've expanded that with Tomb Raider and Uncharted. You're right. Like... like we don't need more of Indiana Jones. Yeah, we don't need like a reskin of Tomb Raider, Uncharted. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what's gonna be. It might be more a little bit more puzzle heavy, but that'd be neat. What else can you guys do? I I don't see them doing anything new that other games haven't already done. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, not at all. It's just gonna be the same old shit. That 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 <laughs> new whip, coat of paint. Those whip controls better be the point. <laughs> I play it a month after it comes out when it drops to twenty dollars. <laughs> You're still thinking it's gonna be twenty bucks? You're right. <laughs> Probably fifteen. <man. laughs> if it doesn't get a fifty percent off sale on Steam the weekend after, I'll be surprised. <laughs> like real talk. Oh my god. Yeah. So Indiana Jones game. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones game. Whatever. The last piece of good-ish advice that I... Or advice. Fuck me. Uh, information that happened this week is Pokemon Snap is coming out in April. This April? Yep. Nice. Hope it's, hope it's not a $60 fucking game. Yeah, you know it's it going be. to be. It <laughs> It'll looks... probably be 40 50 It's going to be 60 <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> hey, man. It's Nintendo, money. dude. Game Freak needs that money. They, they charge $60 for the, the Link's Awakening, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Game Boy Advance game with a new coat of paint. <laughs> Shit, they'll probably charge 80 because this is an N64 game with a new coat of paint. 
Uh, it looks cool though. I've seen yeah. the trailer. Yeah, it looks like Pokemon Snap. It's completely inoffensive. Yeah. I I I'll play it. I probably won't purchase it. But hey, Ryan's gonna yeah, buy Ryan's it. gonna buy it. <laughs> so <laughs> should I'll give him five dollars to borrow it, you know, and that'd still be better better use Is of your money. Is your roommate gonna buy it? No clue. I know he's like super into Pokemon. Yeah. Is Jonah gonna buy? I'll borrow it from Jonah after you're done uh, borrowing it from. He might. I'm not sure. <laughs> hey he, Jonah he hasn't talked about it. Jonah, are you gonna are you gonna, <laughs> you gonna fucking buy it? Let me know. Hit me up in the comments. Um, now we're gonna get into some some dog shit that happened with games these last two weeks because there's some real shit that's been happening with a couple of companies. Um, there's even a new one that I need to actually look up. Um, there it is. So uh, Hitman Hitman Three came out and they announced way back when they announced Hitman Three. They were like, hey guys, if you own Hitman 1 and you own Hitman 2, then you get to play all those levels in Hitman 3 with the new stuff and the new whatever, and it's going to be awesome. And everyone went, you know what, damn, that's really nice of you guys. That's fantastic. Mm. And then it's an Epic exclusive for a year, which is like... Hitman 3. Yeah. So the people are like, okay, that's fine. It might be six months or something, but it's exclusive to Epic. That's fine. Um, And then Epic came out. And was like, sorry guys, because Hitman 2 isn't on Epic, but it is now, it wasn't before, if you want the Hitman 2 levels, you have to buy Hitman 2 again on Epic. Because even if you bought it on Steam, fuck you. We don't want to, yeah. Buy it again. And everybody was like... How about you make it work? Because <laughs> you guys said we get the levels. Right. <laughs> That's not on us for you guys lying. Uh, and they actually totally conceded and were like, "Yeah, we're we're trying to make it work. We we're, we're trying really really hard right now. Sorry, we mm. fucked up." Uh-huh. <laughs> and it's like, "Hey, good on you for admitting right. that you were trying to literally fuck your <laughs> customer base." Were you ever into the Hitman series? Yeah, way back. I like PS2 yeah, though. I've never played them, but I watch Oni plays do some of it. And they just look like kind of fun puzzle games. Exactly, yeah. I always played it shittily as a kid because I had no chill when I played them when I was, what, 10? Yeah. So it was literally like, I, wa- I came to the level, it's the first level of two, and you're in a vineyard, and I'm like, what the fuck do I do? And I'm like, <laughs> okay, I knocked out the gardener, and I, I'm in his clothes, and then I just walked up to the dude I was supposed to kill and shot him in the face with the fucking silver ballers. <laughs> and I was like, I guess I leave now. (laughs) (laughs) And then I did play a lot of Hitman Absolution, and that game plays, like, super not like a Hitman game. You Mm. have to go into that like a just murderer. (laughs) So, like, but it lets you. So you can totally, like, stand up, throw a jar at a wall, and the person will, like, turn around to look at it, and you can just pop them in the back of the head. So uh, my friend in college, Sean, and I, just played the entire game like it was your standard third person shooter just pop 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 pop, pop, pop. And we beat it <laughs> and it was more fun that way than trying to deal with the bullshit it was trying to make us do yeah, yeah. definitely uh, seems like a game where you make your own fun oh absolutely like i would love to play it with somebody sure. i would never play it on my own but yeah. but the fun of just being like hey, hey snap that this. clown's neck <laughs> like, <laughs> dress up as a clown for a little bit that'd be fun it'd <laughs> <laughs> be funny it's very funny um so more shenanigans mortal kombat 11 had a tournament recently oh yeah yeah did you hear about this at all noah maybe it's uh it's it's dumb um so mortal kombat 11 had a at a tournament and you can make like custom move sets Oh, yeah, yeah, the guy got banned. Yeah, he guy got like, banned from a tournament. What is NRS doing? Yeah. So, oh, I can't spell shenanigans. Oh, it's like Shiva enough. has, like, this really, really, really busted move. Yep. That's, like, she jumps up in the air, and then she comes down, but she's, like, invulnerable. And, I, she and probably goes, like, plus on it or something. Yeah. And, like, there are, I guess, videos dedicated for, like, each character just how to, like, dodge the move. So he was, like, protesting that, I guess. Yeah, then, just kind of... Because the name of it was Why Would Never Soft Allow This. Yeah. Or NetherRealm. NetherRealm. Sure. Yeah, not Never. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, Why Would NetherRealm do this, allow this? Yeah. And then midway through his set... Because this was top eight. He Like, this was the end of the tournament. Mm-hmm. And the... Uh, he is feed, tapped on this shoulder. <laughs> yeah, the feed goes out. <laughs> the announcers go, uh, um... Hey, guys, hold on. Some stuff's happening. I don't know... 
I don't know how much we can talk about this right now, but some stuff's happening. Mm. And then it just comes to the next match. And they say, yeah, the other dude won that round. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and the dude's like, literally, they just banned me from the tournament because of that name. Because yeah. I hurt their fifis. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, what are you doing? James, they have shitty. to show them. They have to show everybody their small dick. Exactly. The tiniest would you dick know? on the circuit. Yeah. Just got to slap it down little on the Micro table. dick, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what this is? This is a small dick and you made me angry. <laughs> Get your mic magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he got banned. Couldn't compete in the tournament. He can go go to other tournaments. It's just this one. Yeah. And everyone's pissed off because it's like literally you could have just asked him to change it after that fight. Right. Or just not worried about it because who cares? Yeah. Yeah. For it, like go fuck yourself. You you added you you put it in the game. Yeah. <laughs> and it's bullshit, right? Yeah. Like people are gonna call you out when a move is bullshit. Yeah. yeah. If Ryu gets a fucking Hadouken that can go through block, people are going to be you. pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> like, just, oh, can, this just works. How long has this game been out? A year? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it coming, you know? like She's like a new character, though, isn't she? Kind of. I think she's been in previous well, yeah. Mortal Kombat's, but, but yeah. But she was new to, to Eleven? I believe she, so. Um, I don't think she was a standard character. Yeah, I wonder when she was she was released. For uh, for eleven, it says uh, May twenty twenty. So she's been out for like six months. There's no oh. excuse for that. Sure. If that move is still this broken That's still after six pretty months, pretty recent. Eleven came out a long time ago. That's true. That's true. But even then, like I was saying, like Ryu had an unblockable fireball yeah, yeah. for six months. <laughs> People would be like, "Can you Capcom? stop this? Capcom, are you sure about this?" Uh. No. Do you have a favorite Mortal Kombat character? Um, I guess like a few, like oh, yeah. Liu Kang, Kung Lao, because was it it's Kung Shaolin Lao. Monks? Shaolin Monks. It's Kung Shaolin. Lao, dude, the head. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I would Kang's totally play that kick. game, dude. I love that game. I, I like Reptile. Once. Reptile's dope. Uh, I played him in like nine or something. Mm. Shit, I, I really like Noob and Smoke. Yeah, they're dope. Probably Smoke more than Noob. Are those the robot guys? No, those are no. the shadow guys. Smoke's the guy who does smoke, and then Noob's the... Uh, noob Cybot. Yeah, Noob Cybot mm. is... God, he has, like, fucking, like... He's, like, made out of, like, kind of oil. Like yeah. Like this weird gunk. He's, like, a goop. shadow yeah. ninja, yeah. kind of. He has the, the dope, <clears throat> like, ultra fucking uh, Izuna drop, where yeah. he grabs you and teleports you through the floor with him twice and then slams you on the ground. Wow. <laughs> it's, like, super cool. Yo, where's Bo Raichou? No, we don't need him anymore. What? <laughs> I don't need a character in a fighting game that throws up on a floor for a fucking move. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Dude, he's a drunken boxer. He's the best. I would totally respect him, if, like, if they put him in and just cleaned him up a bit. Yeah. Because I love the drunken fighting style. Yeah, like, yeah. I, he was great. I just, even as a kid, I was like, Really? No, Kodo Khan's oh. dope. I like his aesthetic. Yeah, the Aztec warrior. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. fucking dope, yeah. I think he was the best new addition to yeah, for uh, sure. 210. Uh, the insect lady's dope. Yep. I forget her name. Damn. Hey, Noah, do you have a favorite character? Yeah, half the cast. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're cool, like, character designs. Yeah. I like them. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i trying to remember the name of the robots, because one's Cyrax, and I can't remember yeah, the other yeah. one. Uh, Jack. The, the robots Jack. With, with dreads. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're just predator robots. Yeah. <laughs> like, for They were just reals. recolors. God one was it. yellow, one was red. Yeah, ketchup and mustard. Oh, come I on. I remember, uh, doesn't Jack's fight one in a. Sector. Movie? I was gonna Sector. say Sector, <laughs> but I thought that was the name of a fucking, like, shitty Killer Instinct fighter. Oh, sure. Not that, like, the fighters in Killer Instinct are shitty. They're yeah. all also awesome. But I was like. Mm. Yeah, they're really cool characters in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I fucking Baraka's dumb though. He's a jobber. Yeah, Baraka, <laughs> but sucks. I mean that's his niche. <laughs> yeah, he, he just is supposed to suck <laughs> and be there for Melina, kind of. Nah, I'm, I'm a loser because I I'll, I just love all the ninjas. Sure. I it, it, from from day one I'm a sub zero They're, mark. Yeah, yeah baby. Like, yeah, it just sucks that they're so very much like kid Halloween yeah. costume ninjas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, I I like. Uh, I think Frost had a better design than a lot of the regular sure. ass sub I think she just got released. She, she's like Did the newest she? character, yeah. Nice. 
because i know uh <laughs> rambo's in it too Fucking yeah Jesus. Hey, i mean they, the Terminator, they know their crowd fucking robocop yeah and they're, alien they're playing to their crowd you know jason was in 10 freddy was in one too yep. Oh man, but yeah, no, I I love uh, I love Noob, I love Rain, I love Sub Zero, I love Cabal because mm-hmm. I feel like he should get more play. He's the dude Is with the two hook swords. Kenshin's dope. Yeah, the, Kenshi. Kenshi. Yeah. That's Who's the, the dude with the spice that come out? Is like four arms. That's Beth Baraka. Baraka. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, He's a jobber. You don't like him, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I just I just remember him. Yeah, shit. Yeah, I've got a lot of characters I like. I don't know if I have like a favorite. Yeah, I never played it enough to have, like, like a, yeah, this maybe, is my main, Maybe, you know? like, Reptile or Smoke. I was a big Reptile fan, too. Yeah. I like Reptile. Reptile's cool. Because wasn't it in, the, like, one of the first ones, like, wasn't it, like, a see? wasn't he a secret character? Yep. Yeah, yeah. he was a recolor of fucking Sub-Zero and Scorpion. Yeah, which is fine. <laughs> which Dude, man, like the, the amount of times me and my cousins would run around screaming, get over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and usually you'd have a stick in your hand, so you'd yeah. throw it when you get over here. <laughs> what was your first Mortal Kombat game? The very first one. Uh, the very first one? Yeah, on Super Nintendo. I think the first one I played was 4 on PC. Oh, yeah. 4 or 3. It might have been 3 on PC. I think my first one was Deadly Alliance. Brutal. All the way at PS2? Yeah. I think it was on GameCube for me, though. Oh yeah, that's fair. You that's remember? the one with Bo Ride Show. Yeah. And the, the that's the one of the cool story mode that's yeah. actually like it's super yeah, it cool. It's a good game. But it's weird. <laughs> the I hated the, doing the combos. The weirder one was uh the story mode. Fuck. Armageddon? I think. Armageddon's the other GameCube one, so it would have to be. If it's not mm-hmm. Deadly Alliance. It's the one where you're playing like a random Yeah, the the character. Yeah, the whose name I can't character. remember. It starts with an S. Yeah. But it, it literally translates to hero or some shit. Oh, it's really? Just, yeah. Nice. I, I think that's Armageddon. I played the, the shitty jazz game on PS1. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I played it. I, I played the N64 Sub-Zero game. <laughs> <laughs> Mortal Kombat anthologies or some shit. Uh, I mean... I was so excited, dude. I heard about those games. I was like, it's a, vit- it's a Mortal Kombat adventure game? They're branching out. Oh, shit. They're they're trash. Uh, I probably played like Shujinko. One of the, Shujinko. Shujinko. Yeah. His thing was that you could like get the abilities of the other players and like use them. Yeah, and then he just but his he basic fucking style sucked like, ass. I hated his like old man fucking style to like his his costume. I liked him better when he was like an adult, but not old master. Because old master Shujinko mm. is just like he's just oh yeah that sure is a generic Asian kung fu master from every movie. I, I mean the designs in early Mortal Kombat was all were always bad. Yeah, yeah they were. Yeah. Jack Jax is just a, a a dude with metal arms like nothing like I think he was shirtless. They didn't even try. Yeah, that's okay though, because I mean you know back then that's all you needed. Yeah. And they're all live action, literal cardboard cutouts of people. So it's, they did the best they could. I, I do love Johnny Cage. Yeah, Johnny I fucking, Cage. I fucking Cage love is him. Fucking great. I was dude. hurt when he died in that movie in the beginning. Oh, I was, everybody was. I was fucking hurt, man. <laughs> yeah, so in the man. very fucking beginning. Crack. Yeah. I think he has my favorite fatality in eleven. Ball breaker. No. I don't know it, what it is. It, <laughs> they do like a like a take or like he punches him in the face, and then they're like cut, cut. <laughs> He's like, oh, this fucking guy, and he has to keep punching him over and over because he keeps fucking up the take. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's great. He has another one where he uses them as like a ventriloquist dummy. Nice. Just is fucking great. Wow. I still love the Johnny Cage scene from the movie. When he walks up to Liu Kang and he's like, hey, take my bag for you. And he hands him like 50 bucks. And Liu Kang's like, yeah, no problem. Picks up his bags, throws them in yeah. the water. <laughs> Johnny's just like, okay. <laughs> Dude, we should definitely play uh, the Dude, we fucking. Should, we should definitely watch that the first movie. movie. <laughs> the first movie's actually good, man. It's like legit good. We, but, should, uh, we should play Shaolin Monks. I'm in. I, we need to find awesome. a copy. I'm, I'm, it's probably expensive. It's as hell. probably dirt cheap. No one really? cares. Really? No Kombat. way. No way. No one cares. Minimum about Mortal twenty. Kombat. Minimum twenty. People 20, love Mortal Kombat. Twenty is dirt cheap. That's not dirt cheap. 
Dirt Cheap's like five. Nah, Dirt Cheap for a PS2 game is twenty. Mm. When there are two hundred and something dollar twenty, PS2 twenty games. means like it's a good game though. Shaolin Monks, PS2. Thirty. Yeah, thirty ten dollars. Uh, <laughs> I don't trust it. Yeah, I wouldn't buy this the ten dollar one. <laughs> this one's fifty dollars for all three of the PS2 games. Oh, that's not bad. This one's sealed and graded for five hundred. Which who would ever who say yes to that? Yeah, thirty bucks. That's expensive. It's it's that's, between. That's it's, like a higher tier one. That isn't like a classic price. That's not like a hundred bucks. God, these prices are all over the place, They're aren't all they? Over. People don't know what they fucking thirty to have. forty. Yeah seems to be about it though yeah that's fair that's fair i'll i'll, I'll, I'll play it <laughs> i don't give a fuck i'm in i'm in to play that for for this old channel because go fuck ourselves right right <laughs> we don't deserve good things we should definitely play that though i'm yeah i'm in i'm, I'm so in i'm in let's literally after this podcast Buy let's go it. to fucking yeah disc replay yeah, let's do it i'm in <laughs> well we should call them first <laughs> yeah yeah it's smart I mean, okay. we could just go to browse. But... Yeah, I Please notice. call them. I hate when you guys go to this replay. I just Wait, sit there. What? I don't like this replay. Why? Because I just I, I find no enjoyment. What? <laughs> you could find your like favorite game from just, your childhood. I don't know what it is. I just I just find no enjoyment at this replay, Why? and I just it, sit there, and you guys like it's the joy geek the out fun. about stuff, and I just sit there with my hands what? in my pocket, and I feel I feel terrible. I hate this replay. Why? What? <laughs> He that's doesn't like the thrill of the hunt. Me. That's what it is. Maybe that's what... Yeah, maybe you're right. Because <laughs> that's the whole reason you go to Disc yeah. Replay or Half Price Books. You, you don't go, go there looking for something. You go there hoping to find something. Like, exactly. you two and Matt fucking love Disc Replay. You guys could spend over an hour in there easily. I don't love Disc Replay. I love finding old games. Well, yeah, you look... Disc Replay is like a means to an end. You, you Jonah, and I still need to go to that old, <laughs> awesome classic game store that's in milwaukee that i found that oh, one yeah. time it's I'm like down. huge and like it's just like literally just like like it's like japanese classic game stores which is like wall-to-wall games oh, and shit. shit dude yeah we need to go there i'm, I'm in let's go now today dude, Darius, I get out. Play... <laughs> fine i want to play shaolin monk so bad i'll take my chicken and leave fuck you damn <laughs> brutal dude, that's i really want to play shaolin monks now we, dude we're gonna play it don't worry um okay so <laughs> xbox live decided to be fucking stupid yesterday uh i told darius about this but D- no you know about this shit you just told me this morning i did <laughs> no i'm trying to for the people for no the, you didn't james listeners. please fill me in i will noah here it is <laughs> <laughs> no so xbox live was like hey we're not adding anything to xbox live but the price hasn't changed in like five years and in some places it hasn't changed in 10 years so we're doubling the price we're not giving you anything extra for this we're just doubling the price and everyone everybody was like are you out of your mind super smart to release a console then do it though yeah <laughs> release a console then do it yeah, during two, a pandemic two after <laughs> yeah so, so they're settled with their console yeah. exactly it very established player yeah. base too yeah and none of their sales could possibly be taken by the competitor at two months in <laughs> <laughs> so yeah everybody was like uh no 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 i'm gonna buy a playstation yeah literally i was on the fence but you can go fuck yourself right yeah. and then 16 hours later they make a message and they're like hey guys we were thinking about it we're really sorry <laughs> we listened to you guys you guys were very vocal and not only are we sorry but just to show you how sorry we are games that are free on our systems that have multiplayer shit you, you thank us you don't need xbox live gold to play those anymore mm. thank you oh you didn't tell me that they went back on their word what do you mean they you didn't tell me that they they caved oh yeah no because that happened last night that uh, was that was new <laughs> that's cool so there's man. no fucking way they keep the 60 dollars for a fucking half year yeah the fuck out of here fucking dumbasses. but it's it's cool but it's also not cool because they walked it back which is nice but it's like then they thought they can get away with it. Yeah. yeah. And to placate people, they were like, "Hey, so now when you play Fortnite on your Xbox 360, you don't have to have Xbox Live Gold anymore." You know, how it should have been because it's a free game. Yeah. You fucking Plus, assholes. Yeah. You motherfuckers. Yeah. Like Fuck them. That's Xbox that's for you though. Yeah. I mean, people people who play Xbox are a different breed, you know? Yeah. They, they are fucking ride or die yeah. <laughs> and you gotta like appreciate that on some level. 
you know, someone who says I can have a PlayStation, but I'd rather have an Xbox. Something yeah. special about them, you know? <laughs> yeah, something very special. <laughs> yeah, so that was Blizz- uh, Blizzard. Wow, fuck, stupid. Uh, <laughs> that was Microsoft. The reason I said Blizzard is because Blizzard had some weird shit go on, too. Big surprise. Uh, so Activision and Blizzard, right? Um, they bought Vicarious Visions. Which is the people who made the Insane Trilogy, the Tony, the new Tony Hawk games that just came out, oh, like right, one right. and two, the, mm. the the remakes that yeah. everybody actually loves. Um, so they bought those, or they, they they bought them, and they made they they made a lot of other kind of okay stuff. Um, back before. Did you do then. a Spyro remake too? Uh, that's no, that's Toys for Bob. Bob. Oh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so they made those. They did all the Skylanders stuff, it looks like, or a lot of it, at least. They did a lot of Guitar Hero stuff after the fact. They made a Kung Fu Panda game on DS. Hey. <laughs> uh, they actually did make some good games earlier. <laughs> like, they did Ultimate Alliance, the the PSP and Wii ports. So, like, they, did, they, they, they tried their best. You know what I mean? But yeah, so now they own them. And apparently they were like, okay, now you guys are going to work on in-house projects exclusively. So now... That's interesting. Yeah. And the word on the street is, and this is like vaguely confirmed by like a bunch of people in the industry. They're like, yep, they're making a Diablo 2 remake. Nice. So these people that have nothing to do with Diablo are being shunted onto this project. Diablo 2 remake? Yeah. yeah people love their Diablo 2. People love their Diablo 2. Okay, I mean, <laughs> don't they still play Diablo 2 then? Yes. Yes, they do. Yeah. <laughs> do online games need a remake? I don't know. Are the servers even up for that game? Everybody makes their own. Well, yeah, but... But to answer your question, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, dude. Oh, no, Diablo 2 came out like the 90s, right? Yeah, that's an old game. Yeah, it did. So yeah, this is, they do probably need a remake. And like this the is... new one's coming out. Yep, Diablo yeah. 4 is coming out. This is kind of cool, man. Diablo it's kind it's it's kind of cool for sure, but it's kind of weird that they're just shoving this new company that they got and went, "Hey, fuck you, make it." Yeah, why not have well, Blizzard do it? That's speculated. Well, it's it's speculated, but like why one would... of those like yeah. re- like it's speculated, but we like this isn't like on the rumor mill. This is like reporting done it, it, it's more than likely true okay. instead of just your average mook on the street saying <laughs> with fuck. a sign why wouldn't exactly. blizzard do it and Diablo that's what everybody's you make the carious visions yep. 2025 it's, it's happening guys <laughs> and the hammer paladin is in smash bros <laughs> okay so, <laughs> okay whatever you loser <laughs> you call the police <laughs> <laughs> this guy's talking about killing himself <laughs> T- taking out a grocery um, store if this is true I, I, I hear really good things about Diablo but I never played it I would probably give it a chance honestly Darius if you ever decided to buy Diablo 3 when it's on super sale I'd run through it with you well I was, I was thinking 2 if it, I'll do it 2 as four, well cool. Well, maybe if it looks good <laughs> I'd play the original 2 any day have you seen the cinematic for uh, Diablo 4 no, I don't yeah, think I have it's either. Really fucking good. <clears throat> I mean, it's they Blizzard came out beef. forever ago. It was when they were summoning uh, Lilith. I did. Yeah. Yeah, with the. Yeah, yeah. I do remember that. It's okay. Fucking awesome. But like Darius said, if Blizzard stops making good animations, then what are they even good for? You know, yeah. I mean, like <laughs> <laughs> I they thought, make really good games, but when you were telling them that they were making whatever that vicarious was going to be making games for them i thought they'd start doing what uh riot's been doing that's what everybody was hoping like, for i don't know i think riot's going to be like the next blizzard absolutely well because they're putting all those fingers in all those pies and that's yeah. just smart they're making new games with their like current ip and shit yep. which is awesome because i'm interested in the fighting game yeah airship syndicate yep. it's making the uh uh turn-based the, the rpg right Echo's getting his own game. Yep. Uh, Which I'd the play fighting the fuck game of. by the uh, Rising Thunder people. There's Echo also, the Dolphin. There's also a third person. <laughs> there's, there's a, third a MMO person shooter coming, coming out. out, isn't there? Or not? Third not like a person. shooter, but like a third person action game. Probably. Because I, I think they said that they're making a character action game yeah, with their characters. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I meant. Not a third person. I, I wanted to ask you this, James. Yeah. What is the difference between an action game and a character action game? 
Uh, the level of crazy. So, like, Uncharted is an action game, right? Yeah. And Devil May Cry is a character action game where the character does, like, crazy actions and they're not, like, normal. It's like it's like the difference between a fighting game and a hyper fighter, you know? Okay. So, it's like... It's, so, it's, 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 it's the same thing, but, like, when you get... When you really get into it, there can't be a difference. Well, yeah, there's well, massive a bit differences. Broad. Yeah. yeah. Character action's probably just a specific kind. Yeah. yeah. I think people started trying to get uh, Spectacle Fighter to be used in place of character action, mm. which is fair. That sure. it, it makes more sense than just calling it character yeah, action. because you're always playing a character in an action game. Exactly. So. It's, like, it's like those people who are like, eh, Madden's an RPG, technically. So <laughs> is Vanquish considered... Character, character action. action yeah okay it's a third person character action and, game uh, like a third person shooter character action game okay yeah the dark siders would be character action exactly but an action game would be like i don't know the weird third person james bond games that they came out with and like sure on the 360 you know <laughs> like splinter cell is an action game well it's a stealth so game, but sekiro is that just action yeah well, maybe mm-hmm. that's probably character action. Yeah, because it's you're not doing stuff that normal people can do, mm-hmm. which is kind of what it is. Like it's like more magical, more fantastic. Yeah, you got okay. a prosthetic that can turn into a shield, a flamethrower, <laughs> throw shuriken. You can jump twenty feet into the air yeah. and swing a sword at a dragon. Spoiler alert. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all I've got for these guys. You guys got anything uh, anything fun to talk about? Uh, yeah, my journey of figuring out things about Noah more. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I figure I uh, ask uh, all you guys a question, and I'll answer the question too. Um, in your childhood, who's the most influential person in your life, and why? In my childhood, Jesus yeah. Christ! Damn, man, he's asking the real question. <laughs> Always. Well, I'll just use this as, as an excuse to get to know Noah. So. That's fair. <laughs> I, I, I kind of feel like I already know James's answer, but ooh, curious. Dang. Now I want to know what he thinks my answer is going to be. <laughs> Shit, I don't. You're gonna have to wait a bit. Yeah, you minute. go first, Darius. Um, <clears throat> when I was a kid, my it's Wolverine. M- huh? I was like, it's Wolverine. Just wait. <laughs> Yeah, when I was a kid, uh, I always watched uh, Fox Kids and uh, the X Men '90s X Men anime series came on. <laughs> I discovered who Wolverine was. Wait, are you being serious? No, no. Okay, I was like, cause <laughs> you went into that so, dude. You, you got me. <laughs> you got me bad right there. Oh uh, no! When I was a kid, um, my mom would always uh, drop me off over my grandma's house a lot, and my grandma lives on the west side of Chicago, and like my grandma's house is like the like. The like base for the family, like that's where everybody is like just goes and meets up at it. Yeah. And uh my uncle, my uncle Lejo, he was like he kinda like took me under his wing and like taught me everything because like my dad was never around. Mm-hmm. So like he I spent a lot of time with him and he was super inf- influential to me because like I based like my like entire life entire like life off him and i'm very curious how it would turn out if i never spent any time with him i would think i would just be super like lame and weird and just a straight door i'll be i'll be one of those ai kids Dang. you, oh, you yeah. know what i mean just like just straight up one of those the, the, ai the, kids the loungers yeah <laughs> but uh yeah he's just like he like developed like most of my taste is developed from him he like played video games all the time and like he was just he was like just a super cool guy in the neighborhood and like i would uh like hang out with him around the neighborhood a lot and just like go to the store with him and like everybody would just talk to him on the street and i I learned a lot from him and so he was that cool guy he was a cool uncle yeah yeah he was a cool uncle and like one one thing I did appreciate about him the most is like he always told me the truth. He never lied to me about things. Is this the Superman uncle? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think he thought the same thing. He honestly. probably did. Yeah, that probably <laughs> wasn't a lie. It was probably a he, he wasn't he, sure. He grew up he grew up reading a comic book, so like yeah, but uh the whole <laughs> what we're talking about. I, I asked him one time, I was like, Hey uncle, 
uh, Superman just puts on glasses when it's Clark, Clark Kent. Why don't people recognize him? And he said he told me that they're magical glasses, and people just you know don't see. Maybe he just him. didn't know, and he was. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, why. That's why I, think, <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just trying to answer my question. You're like, you got it on. <laughs> Like, yeah, <laughs> thumbs up. Yeah, but uh, he was like just really important. He he he's a little odd. He had, he had some weird things when he like would try to teach me things. Like uh, uh, I remember oh, Darius. This is how you skin a man. No, like. no, but um, he the the internet was just coming around when I was a kid. Okay, and he went on this this website called Overus dot com. And the war had just popped off. Mm. And uh, the ogres.com is just like vicious stuff. Just like. <laughs> oh, I remember. You, you told me about this. Yeah. And like um, he like he had me watch like a, a like beheading one time. Like just like straight up like terror. Yeah, like yeah. Real. Yeah. And like I think in his mind he was like I'm just showing him the dark side of the world that everything isn't rainbows and sun, sunshine how old are you <sighs> maybe 10 <laughs> but like Some isis beheading <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, 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 as you can see I'm just, I'm, the, tra- the trauma's there you yeah. know <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> the trauma's fucking there i would never forget that that fucking no. shit yeah that's uh that's <laughs> but you know it's fucking intense it is it, it is very intense and like I, th- I think he was just trying to show me, like, everything is in rainbows and sunshine. Well, it's know? like you were saying, right? He he legitimately thought that this was something he had to prepare you for. Yeah. Which is, like, that's fair. It was yeah. a scary time back then. Yeah, like, the I'm war not, had not just popped off. this dude. Yeah, the war had just popped off. Right. So, well, I was in fourth grade when September 11 happened. So, this is around the early 2000s, maybe 2002, 2003. But, 2001. Uh, or... No, I'm saying like <laughs> when when I probably saw that. Got it. Because the war's been going on for the last twenty years. Yeah. Because you know we need that oil. But uh, yeah, like we're liberating them from the perils of oil, Terry. But yeah, I, I just I have a lot of memories <laughs> of like us just hanging out and making like a late night dinner. Him teaching me how to like make Kool Aid the right way. Yeah. Because apparently I didn't know this until I like start hanging around white people. White people just pour the packet in there and drink it. And what no? I didn't do this shit. No, no. Had sugar, Amy yeah. does. What? <laughs> her and her no family sugar. just poured a packet in there, but, like in uh, one eight ounce glass. No, in like no. a jug, in like the the pitcher. They'll pour the packet in the pitcher and just stir it around, and then it comes Guy purple water. Fucking mad sugar to that. Yeah, 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 mad sugar. So he like he, he he would show me that. He would like show me like little techniques of like frying bologna and stuff and making sandwiches, and like. I, I like. I remember his patience was really good. He was super patient, and like, I, my mom has no patience at all. My mom is like, <laughs> very, <dumb>. <laughs> very <laughs> like short tempered and like some like borderline mean sometimes. Oh yeah. And yeah. I I remember like <laughs> making a promise to myself as a kid: never like be like my mom. Be more like him, where he has patience and will sit down with you and like go through things slowly with you and like if i didn't have him in my life to like show the opposite of my mom i wouldn't went like like oh this is how you like do things yeah which is like which just makes me super interested if i if i didn't have him in my life i would be a totally different person dude oh yeah like straight up and then like he like he's the one who's like showed me like how important music is and like he kind of introduced like appreciating music and art and movies and like tv like i watch a lot of tv shows and stuff and that's because of him and like that's why i like dissect tv shows and super into them because me and him would sit there and watch tv all the fucking time and like he'll be like i remember i was watching west wing with him when i was a kid when i was a kid i didn't (laughs) understand shit i thought it was the most boring show (laughs) all the time it'd be on bravo they'll have west wing marathons and he'll just sit there and he'll be like this is a I could do this all day. This is like one. This is one of the best days, you know. Yeah, can we watch Rugrats? Yeah, and like I would, I would fucking hate it. And like I'm 28 now, and I'm watching West Wing, and I get it. West Wing is really fucking good. <laughs> you think you'd want to watch it with him sometime? Yeah, yeah, I would probably want to watch it with him. 
just to kind of have that fun conversation, the dialogue yeah, while the, you watch the, it. The sad thing is that right now our relationship is not some shit happened, and our relationship is kind of dead. <laughs> it's like it's kind of sad, but it's like it's his fault. So like, it is what it is. I, I left the door open to like for like if you want to do what you need to do. The door is open, but he hasn't really pushed that door open at all. But I just, like, remember a whole bunch of just, like, he taught me a whole bunch of shit that I needed to learn. And yeah, just as you grew up. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm just, like, just wandering, the, like, the streets with him and just him showing me everything was, like, super important. And no one else would have done that. And it makes me very appreciative that I had that in my life. Mm-hmm. And, like, a lot of my compassion came from him, too. I learned how to be a better person from, like, the adventures with him of how to treat people and how to also not let other people treat you. Yeah. Which was, like, important because I – the few times I did see him mad was, like, when, you know, people would, like, try him or something or, like, piss him off just because they were being assholes. Yeah. So – yeah, shout shout out to my uncle for teaching me. I would, I would, I'm telling you, dude, I would be a totally different person. And the weird part is, uh, my dad is kind of like, I don't really know him that well, but he's kind of a weirdo yeah. from like the stories I heard and the little bit of time I spent with him. He's just he's just kind of awkward and like, like like to the point where like you'll walk into a restaurant and like the the lady would be like, hey, can I see seat you? My dad would just sit there and just not say anything. And I'll say, like, oh, yeah, it's two two seats, you know, this, such, and just, like, weird like that. <laughs> and, like, if I grew up like that, I'll be, I'll be like that. And, yeah, you know, now I know, I know how to, like, shake and move and you know, talk to people. And so. You know how to be a functioning member of society. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, you know, how to, you know, be cool with everybody. And, yeah. And like um, my uncle um, with Metal Gear, I watched him play Metal Gear. That's why I play it like that. Where it is like <laughs> oh, I go so, through. So your uncle was the the person who just yeah. Shot him. So I wasn't yeah. that far off with Hey Darius. This is how you skin a <laughs> hey, skin a man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I watched him play Metal Gear, and like he he's the reason I'm into Resident Evil. He loves the Resident Evil series, and like he got me into it. And I remember playing. I remember watching him play Resident Evil Three. And being super scared of Nemesis. And I was like, is, it, is the Nemesis gone? Is he gone? And my uncle was like, yeah, he's gone. And this is the first time he played it. And I don't remember <laughs> where, but Nemesis busts through a wall at some point. Yeah. And I think he, it, it might be the, the window in RPD. Yeah, he busts through the window. <laughs> I got so scared, I ran out of the room. <laughs> I didn't come back for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> and, but he didn't know. He thought he was legit God. Because I think he probably just shot him until he died. Yeah. And just didn't know that he's going to come back to the fucking window. <laughs> he's like, I ain't done yet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's really influential. And he, like, taught me how to, like, somewhat fix cars. Yeah. Oh, nice. Which was, it was just nice. So whenever I, like, had a problem, he'll, like, show me, like, this is how you do it. Kind of like that that whole, like, teach a man how to fish thing. Yeah. So... Was that, was that enough time for you to think no <laughs> it was pretty long my answers are be fucking boring <laughs> <sighs> I don't know if I've like a, had like a singular mentor like that my dad wasn't around cause he was like working all the time yeah so I, I don't know I just I just like pick like little things up from like everybody in my life I guess yeah I'm not sure yeah if I had like that singular person like my father's like generous and his work ethics like insane he worked at like a steel forging company and mm. he'd work like 12 hour shifts like six days a week and like the God. machine shop was an hour away one way <laughs> and yeah so he's he's pulling he did that for 14 hour yeah, days. he did that fucking for 16 years jesus God damn. yeah <laughs> Uh, he he's a super generous person, so I like try to feed that as well. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, my answer is not very por- uh, exciting. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be exciting. Really. <laughs> I mean, like like you said, cool. you took a little bit from everybody. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my grandfather is like a hunter. I haven't like gotten anything. I'm sure I've talked about that, but no uh, respect for like animals and 
shit like that. What about your mom? Did you like learn a lot from your mom? Uh, a little bit, I guess. I don't know. She just like cared for us. I don't, I don't know. I'm not great socially, so I don't know. This is, this is a tough question. I'm dude. sorry, dude. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to dude, Darius, put the pressure on you. Darius, you come at us with hit after hit yeah. each week. <laughs> One week, it's, hey, do you guys think you want to become monks? And then it's, <laughs> hey, who defines you as a person? Right. Think back to when you were one. Go I from there. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. I've always just learned to, like, pursue my interests mm-hmm. and, like, learn more about what I care about and not so much as, like, trying to copy not that that's necessarily like a bad thing it's just what i've done blaze your own path (laughs) yeah i don't know this sounds more like i don't know romanticized than like it actually is i just you gotta romanticize that stuff (laughs) (laughs) yeah i don't know i just i don't I mean, there's, there's no thing. like uh, that's a good that's a yeah, that's good a answer solid answer <laughs> <laughs> took a little bit for everybody which is like how life should be yeah. yeah just build your persona using other people yeah the way in line with what i want yeah. or whatever yeah how about you james um well first of all who do you think it is your brother he's super right 100 uh, yeah. uh <laughs> <laughs> this is the easiest thing in the world um it was actually Goku. Sorry, you know, he taught me to be angry at the right times. And if your bald friend gets blown by an alien, you, you, I just think about Matt getting get blown up now. <laughs> Matt getting blown up. He's bold. Oh, oh. <laughs> nah. I meant getting blown because oh, cause yeah. like Frieza blows Krillin in the the, <laughs> the tsunami version of it. <laughs> It's fucking great. Uh, anyway. Oh, he does get like blown up. It's not. No, no, he he does get blown up. But you know when he like uh, Frieza like impales Krillin on his horns. Oh. He like jams him yeah. in the stomach when he's like phase two Frieza. I don't remember that. Yeah, so he totally. I thought does he blows that. him up. He does, but it, it happens it's after. Later. Uh, well, he he impales his dead body. No, no, no. He's still alive. This is why he has that hole in his armor. This happens uh, like earlier. Maybe I watched the tsunami version because I don't remember this. Well, so so he it looks like he headbutts him in the tsunami version, mm-hmm. but in the original one, there's a spike coming out of his back because he like fucking kills it. like he he wounds him heavily. And uh, but in the tsunami one, because they don't put the spike in there, it just looks like he puts his head right into his crotch and he's just like, <laughs> 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 it's like. Yeah, yeah, Frieza. We you gotta look this up afterwards. Help, help Krillin out of a tough situation in the air up there. <laughs> Gohan's right there. You can't be doing that, man. Anyway, yeah. So I learned a lot from my brother, and I actually learned a lot from my sister, Wendy. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'll tell a fun story um, about about that a little bit. No, so so my my sister Wendy, she was always the one who was like when I was like six or seven, whenever she would, because uh, my family situation was weird. My mom and dad got together and had me, but they both had a separate relationship before they got together. So my brother and sister on one side of my family is from my dad and his old wife. And then my mom, whatever, that, that was two other uh, kids. So I'm technically an only child. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so <laughs> you have two brothers and two sisters. Yeah. So your dad's full-blooded uh, kids or no, not full. <laughs> your 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 dad's kids is your oldest brother. I'm guessing. Yes. The one. Okay. What's his name again? Joe. And Wendy. Correct. Okay. And then Cassie and Mike are from your mom. Are from my mom's side. Yeah. Okay. Cassandra and Michael. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. And then they got together and had me. Ooh, special. Ooh. Um, so I'm the fifth child. Stuff. <laughs> Thank God they got it right on me. Uh, <laughs> did everybody get along? Did, did Mike well. and uh, Joe get along? Mm, not really, but they didn't really live together all that much. What's the age difference between the, both of them? Bro, I could barely tell you what my age is on a good day. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I could tell you the, the age difference I of any of my... I, I know they're rough ages. So I, I think it would Joe's be a couple the, uh, years. Is Joe the oldest? Yes. I think it's a couple years difference. It's it's Joe and then Cassie and Wendy are roughly the same age. And okay. then Mike and then me. Um, okay. I know that Mike was a freshman, maybe, when Cass was a senior or had just graduated high school. Okay. So 
there's some age difference. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so Wendy, whenever they would come and visit, um, she would always be the one that like I was like six or seven, and I'd be like, "Give me this, right?" Because I'm still kind of a child, and she's like, "No, say please." Like, I'm not giving you anything until you say please and thank you. And she, like, instilled that into me as a kid. Yeah. Um, and, like, it was great because, like, Cassie would be like, he's six. Don't don't make him do that. <laughs> like, he's, he's just yeah. asking for things because he's a stupid child. And I thank Wendy for doing that because, yeah. like, it helped me grow as a person. Yeah. And uh, there's a dumb story. There's two dumb stories. One that I still kind of feel bad for. When I was young, it was Christmas time and Wendy was over and I threw a piece of hard candy at her and it hit her in the lip and it caused her to bleed. And I felt bad forever about oh, that, dude. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I fucking <laughs> killed her. Because like, <laughs> I was a kid and she was hurt and it was my fault. And I was just yeah. like, oh no. <laughs> um, but the other story is Cassie was trying to, uh, uh, I was sick. And my parents were gone. And there were five mm-hmm. fucking kids in the house. Like, they take care of me. Like, mm-hmm. they're like 14, 15, 16. They should be fine. Uh, and Wendy... No, they were like 12 or 13 max. 14 max. But uh, they kept trying... Cassie tried to keep giving me medicine. And I would, like, take a little bit and then knock the spoon out. Because I'm having a fever and I'm a child. Yeah. <laughs> and she kept giving me some spoonfuls. Trying oh, to get shit. me to have it. And Wendy's like, Cass, you need to stop. He's had a tablespoon. <laughs> and she's like... <laughs> He hasn't, Cassie was like, he hasn't had a full tablespoon yet. And when he's like, do the volume math, <laughs> you're going to kill this kid if you keep trying to give, you're going to feed him a whole bottle of fucking night Call sir. <laughs> he's like, no, you need a full tablespoon. Yeah, you need a full one. <laughs> Every and, last drop. <laughs> yeah, right. Granted, when your younger brother is sick and you're probably the oldest one there, you're going to be freaking out being like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, but it's just a funny story. of <laughs> They got me fucking hooked on lean at age two. You know? <laughs> when I was, like, younger, I apparently had, like, a fever. And, like, I guess I, like, fell asleep. And, like, I remember a dream that I had that was, like, my mom and dad trying to give me medicine. And I'm like, no, I don't need it. No. And then I, like, woke up. And then my mom and dad were like, so what's going on? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that was real. Yeah. You were know, fighting off the demons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I told you guys. I broke, like, both of my arms as kids. And, oh, like, yeah. one time. No, was... how'd you break both at the same time? No, no. <laughs> separate instances. But I have broken each arm. Or I fractured one and broke another. And, like, I broke one because I was... Me and my brother had bunk beds. And I was on the top. And I just rolled off and fucking broke my arm. Oh, like, in your sleep? Yeah, yeah. That's and scary I, as fuck. I, I, like, woke up. And then I was like, oh, shit. My arm kind of feels bad. <laughs> I guess I'll just, like, wait it out. So, like, I went out into the living room and started watching, like, TV. <laughs> My dad gets home at like 3 a.m. And he's like, what are you doing up, buddy? And I'm like, I fell out of the bed and my arm kind of hurts. He's like, why didn't you tell mom? And I was like, I don't fucking know, dude. Your arm's fucking twisted. Yeah, you look like Gohan. Man, <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh. How'd you break that arm? Uh, I was jumping. Oh, I guess this was first, but. Uh, I was jumping on, like, my parents' bed, and, like, I jumped a bit too hard, and I, like, fell off, and, like, to catch myself, I did this. <laughs> just stuck my hands out straight, oh, and then just clack. Oh, got God. Me. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Uh, clack. <laughs> uh, we should talk about young childhood wounds after I'm done talking oh, about there's, there's one. Uh, my brother and I were, like, we had skateboards as a kid and you've been there but like our we lived on a cul-de-sac and then straight down there's like a ramp that goes down to the woods where like train tracks are mm-hmm. and like we just skate down that like little hill or whatever and he, he wiped out <laughs> <laughs> and he had like this huge gash on his head and there was like blood everywhere oh, God. <laughs> my dad was freaking out but it was just kind of like a minor scratch there was just a ton of blood yeah for, like no reason yeah, f- he- like, head wounds head, fucking yeah. bleed yeah. <laughs> Oh God! Uh, <laughs> okay, so you got almost got hooked on lean. Yeah, I almost got hooked on lean. Dude, I could have been a fucking star if they did. I would have been, I would, I would have been putting they beats out left and right at age three, face dude. Tat you. <laughs> Prison tat. Wendy though. had to save you. God damn it! Yeah, dude. <laughs> I was almost a hero. No, but then uh, uh, my brother 
my brother Mike, uh, he he just absolutely is the fucking like the thing that like instilled everything in me. Um, because like he would always play fight me, and he was way too old. To... Yeah, what's the age difference? Oh God, he was eighteen when I was eleven, maybe. So mm. like that was a seven, seven year yeah. fucking difference. It's but he about would... me and my sister. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason I thought she was older for oh, half a second. Sure. I was like, no, she's not. <laughs> like, I'm stupid. Um, but yeah, no, he was always super cool. Like, he'd let me stay over at his apartment. And, like, his girlfriend clearly was kind of like... She was cool, but it was like, I is he going to be time. over here all the time? And it's like, he's like, he's my little brother. You know, like, <laughs> you know, I got to help him out. Um, but no, like, like with you, he was the one who, like, showed me a bunch of games and stuff. You know, like, I, I only care about Resident Evil because of him. He played through Kingdom Hearts 1 with me. Um, like, just everything. Dino Crisis, Mega Man, like, yeah. all of it. Um, <laughs> but no, he, he would, like, get on his knees and, like, play fight me. And, like, pretend to be a fucking sensei and try to instill, like, <laughs> don't fucking beat up motherfuckers unless they really have it coming. You know, like, yeah. try not to get into fights as much as possible, but make sure you don't get your ass kicked because then you'd be a bitch. You know, like... <laughs> Uh, he, he never said it like that, but that's that's what he meant. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, is that his shirt or your shirt? This is my shirt. Oh, I got a set of loot crate. It's stupid. Oh. It's just poor quality mm. shirt. <laughs> it's. Uh, I mean, look at this fucking. He's this wearing whole. a Bill and Ted shirt. <laughs> yeah. If you were wondering, <laughs> wild, wild stallions be excellent to each other. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, he's actually the reason that I don't like drinker. Um, oh yeah. Like smoke pot or anything either yeah because he was like hey i know i've got a lot of friends because northern michigan is a shithole uh he's like, i got a lot of friends who i know that got fucked up on drugs bro fucked up on drugs and he's like promise me that like you just won't do drugs and stuff and i'm like okay bro you're my fucking idol why wouldn't i say <laughs> yes to this uh and then he fucking died like two years after that and just i never True. felt the need to do any of that stuff so like even now, it's not like some higher, like, oh, you get drunk? <laughs> uh, I'm too high class for that. <laughs> no, it's just like... He's meh. not interested. Yeah, it's like... Uh, uh. So, he's like a big part of like who I am, for sure. Yeah. I figured. You talk about it a lot, so I figured... I mean, I shit, I've got like eight of his shirts still. <laughs> like Speaking of people judging you for... Uh... <laughs> for for drugs and alcohol i went to the doctor a couple of days ago and the doctor oh, yeah. asked he's like you know do you drink do you do drugs and i was like yeah i've been taking edibles lately and the, and the first thing out of his mouth was why and i felt like he was judging me like yeah right was. <laughs> so why not yeah, yeah. I, I, I literally for fun <laughs> yeah why do you have a fucking glass of wine you fucking prick <laughs> yeah right eat shit <laughs> That's better than fucking my doctor when I went there like a couple months ago made me feel like a loser. Like the nurse and him both made me feel like I was like the the nerdy kid in school. Oh, because you don't. Yeah, because they're like, uh, do you drink or do drugs? And I'm like, no. And they're like, never. And I'm like, no, never. And they like kind of eyeballed me and we're like, okay. <laughs> and then the yeah. first thing out of the doctor's mouth, he's like, oh, let me just go over the sheet with you. The nurse said, and he like goes over a couple things. He's like, you never you you don't drink or do drugs? And I'm like, no, really. <laughs> never and i'm like yeah no ass fuck you like, <laughs> what are you gonna do fucking trash can me and call me a nerd tell me to get out of your office like fuck you you piece of shit yeah no the last time i was at the doctor he asked if i did shit like that and i'm not gonna lie to him like i smoked and i've done psychedelics yeah and he just like looked at me weird and like sighed and i'm like okay asshole yeah. god why are they so judgy they're a doctor yeah right <laughs> you're the one I'm supposed to tell the shit to yeah like you ass don't <laughs> fucking judge me for yeah. asking prick i i know my brother had to get like ritalin because he has like adhd and the doctor was like really shitty with him because he's done like that kind of stuff i I'm, I'm assuming the doctor just thinks he's like a junkie who wanted ritalin because he right could sell it or yeah, yeah. Get, get some cash on the street for his real fix yeah fuck yeah. you <laughs> I, he had to like go through hoops to like I, I i'm not sure if it was ritalin it was one of those fucking things yeah but uh it wasn't xanax but it 
fucking in the realm of that shit. Yeah. Just to help him focus. And he had to, like, take a test or something to, like, prove that he had, like, ADHD. God even damn. though, as, like, a kid, he was, like, prescribed medication for it. Yeah. And he was just trying to get, like, his prescription back for it. And, Weird. Yeah. How do you, what's he had that, to, like, what's go to Madison or something for it. And I want to yeah. know what that test is. It's like, if he finishes the test, we know that he's faking. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. What kind of... <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it was like a questionnaire or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you finished it, it within like, the allotted time. Yeah, do you have trouble <laughs> focusing or some shit like Jesus that? Jesus Christ! Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Um, yeah. Hell's Paradise. Yeah, that's when I talk about childhood wounds. I only have one story. My mom broke my front two teeth when I was a kid. <laughs> Did she oh, yeah. punch you? What the fuck happened? Oh, I could talk about how I got this scar, I guess. This is kind of boring. No, I know how I got these scars. <laughs> no, I have, like, a tiny scar on, like, my forearm. I don't yeah. know if you noticed it or not. I've got a nipple scar. Yeah. Yeah, I can talk about that one. Nice. You talk about yours first, though, is obviously. It, just... <laughs> is it, like, on your nipple? Yeah. Like... It's, like, right next to it. Oh, very interesting. Okay, you first know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, I, like put my hand through a glass door <laughs> <laughs> on accident like well i was i was like angry and i like try to open like there's like two front doors like there's a regular door and then there's like a screen door that had like glass or whatever on mm-hmm. it and like i like pushed it open and my hand just went through it <laughs> Jesus. Uh, did you have to go hospital strength. no i don't think so i don't remember sounds like you need stitches for that <laughs> were you like 12 I, did, I definitely didn't get stitches for this uh i think it was in high school okay yeah, uh, that that's more reason. I thought you were gonna be like, yeah, I pushed my hand through a no. fucking car windshield. <laughs> no, no, no. Cut myself. Sometimes you got. Sometimes you got. Sometimes you got. Do what you got. Do. Shattered and like fell down my arm, and I'm kind of surprised that that's the only scar I got from it. Oh yeah, a window funny. pane dropping down will fucking. No, I like shattered, shattered. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yikes! How old were you? you? Said high school. Uh, right? High school. I yeah. don't remember mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. So got this nipple scar yeah tell me the nipple scar see it yeah i see it nice. yeah so this really lame story i was playing hide and seek with some kids like they were my brother's friends um but uh, oh, joe's, joe's kids, kids. Okay. yeah and uh we were playing hide and seek in the house um and i hid behind a chair like a leather chair and i was like oh fuck like there's nowhere to hide i'm fucking 14 mm-hmm. and like i'm just trying to help these kids like be kids um because they lived with us for a bit i'm like just trying trying to keep them busy Mm. and i'm hiding behind this leather chair and i'm like okay cool and i look at the leather chair and the leather on the back is coming off and i can see the giant industrial staples out of the chair and i'm like oh fuck i hope they don't come and get me anytime soon because i need to reposition because this chair is like touching my chest and the staples right there and i'm like if they come and get me they're probably going to scare me or try to scare me. And then I'm fucked. And immediately after having that thought, they're like, got you. And I'm like, yeah! and I like, like uh, jolt up and it just fucking cleaves into my nipple. <laughs> and I'm like, yo. <laughs> and of course, cause I'm my father's son. I just walked into the bathroom and fucking ran some water on it and put a bandaid on it that immediately soaked through with blood. And I'm like, it'll be fine. And I walked away. <laughs> I've also stepped on glass shards. That shit's fun. Oh, oh yeah. my god! Yeah, were like you, a fucking fucking. Were you playing Die Hard or something? Yeah, yeah, I was, and I was like <laughs> fucking Vince. <laughs> no, I was outside of my cousin's house, and I just fucking like I was just walking because I was there for the summer, and I was like, oh, I'll go over to the neighbor's house. I think my cousin's over there, and I'll ask him a question, and bam, fucking right into the like ball Yikes. of my foot. Oh my god! And I like gingerly walk back to their house bleeding all over the place (laughs) and i get into the bathroom and i'm like looking at it and i'm like motherfucker and i like grab it and like pull it out like the full shebang of like pull fuck straight up die hard this is straight up die hard (laughs) (laughs) and i like was like looking through their shit because i was like they've got to have a bandage here right and they only had like the actual bandages like a bandage wrap Mm. and i'm like it's gonna have to do <laughs> and i'm like i don't know how to tie this shit so the rest of that summer i was like ginger as fuck and my cousin was like yeah let's go for bike rides and i'm like you got it pal <laughs> should have went into your dad's shed and got the staple gun <laughs> <laughs> how do you know my dad has a staple gun what dad doesn't have a staple gun you're right <laughs> but also northern michigan worker, so. yeah Got a nail gun too. The the biggest child like hood injury I remember is I was over at my cousin's AJ's house. He has like 
three little brothers. <coughs> and my little cousin Tyler was like fucking three. Yeah. Maybe, maybe four. And I'm, t- I'm in AJ rooms. I'm, t- I'm talking to my cousin AJ. And Tyler just stands by the doorway. He has a big ass Tonka truck. I'm talking like big, big Tonka truck. The 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 real Tonka yeah. trucks. Tonka and, tough. And he just he just chucks it in my <laughs> face. <laughs> just chucks it hard and fucking hits me right into like the eyebrow. I don't know if you, I, I have like a, a like little chip out of my eyebrow. Oh shit. That's that's <laughs> it's from that dude. <laughs> <laughs> he got I, you good. I rem- all I remember is. My auntie sent, oh, no, Carla's going to kill me, which is my mom. <laughs> <laughs> and they were, like, running water on and trying to stop the bleeding. And I, re- I remember that. The most. <laughs> and I just remember being pissed off because I don't know why he did it. I, I was so confused. <laughs> like, Why the fuck would he throw a truck at me? <laughs> <laughs> I hated him for years after that. Damn, dude. <laughs> That's good, <laughs> though. Grudges. It's funny. This is a big-ass taco truck, dude. I was so mad. Remember you, you, you like, why did your uncle make you skin a cat or something or skin a human? Or? Oh, yeah. I was like, skin a cat? I didn't say no. shit. <laughs> but uh, one thing that also traumatized me that he had me do was uh, there was a mouse on one of the glue traps. And the mouse was still alive. He's like, did you kill it? Yeah, he had me. He yeah. gave me the biggest yeah. knife in the kitchen. <laughs> he made you kill it? Did he, did he make you stab it? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. It was f- <laughs> did he tell you to stab it? Or yes. Oh my god. Jeez. I think he's just trying to prepare me for the real world, but Well he could have prepared you a little bit better. If it's just a mouse, you can just take the other end and hit the head. Like that's how you do it when you feed a mouse to like a, a snake. Yeah, you glue can't traps have... are fucked. What? Glue traps are fucked. Oh that's that's very true. Yeah. Fuck glue traps. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, I remember yeah, that. I was it traumatized me, <laughs> obviously. Damn. I don't know if I have it in me to kill an animal. Yeah. <laughs> that isn't like an insect, I guess. Yeah, well, fucking sex. They're brainless. <laughs> <laughs> they don't count. So Very interesting. Not skin a human, but uh, kill a rat. Yeah, <laughs> kill yeah. a mouse. Even cute. Well, I remember um, in the hood, like there's a lot of rats, and he would sit. Him and uh, my other uncle would like always like sit on a porch with BB guns nice. and like shoot rats. I remember they used to do that all the time. Yeah, no reason not to. It's nice. just fun. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's just a good time. That's a good time. Good old time right just, there. That's just a good time right there. <laughs> <laughs> He had, we had like, we had like a family dog. It was like this little terrier, and like they would have the little terrier like fight rats and stuff. And <laughs> well, they're, set up like a that, cardboard like, box. Oh no, yeah, that's area. that's their point. Yeah, yeah. So. I was gonna say, did he have like a cat or something? Uh, we always had a cat. Yeah, sure. was it like a hunter? Yeah, that we would let the cat out sometimes. And yeah, the cat would eat rats and stuff. So yeah. They're just good to have around the house. Like if you look at cats like that, right? Like yeah. like. We need you for a purpose. Yeah, the cats yeah. will fucking get that purpose done. Yeah. Does Kitty chirp? What's chirp? She like. They do like this clacking noise. Not really. No. <clears throat> Generally, when they like see prey, yeah, a yeah. kind of prey. Cats are cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so how I broke my teeth? Uh, in my first house. That uh, pro tip: the person living in this house now flies a Confederate flag. Um, Is this the ghost house? No, this is the the ghost house is still uh, un, unsullied by the the South. Um, no, this is the <laughs> this is a different house where our landlords Those are ghosts creepy as fuck. Could be Southern. That's true. That's true. They could be Southern ghosts. <laughs> no, it's probably my mom. Uh, Checking up on you. Have I talked about the weird ghost shit that happened in that house to us, on the podcast? I don't know if you've talked to it on the podcast. Fuck, I might have to. Um, because they fucked. We can went share ghost dead. stories. I'm down to share ghost stories. I'm having fun. Uh, <laughs> No, uh, we had an upstairs. My mom chased me up the stairs while tickling me. And I was like, ha, 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 ha. Fucking hit my, stairs. hit my teeth oh. on the top step. Boom. Cracked both my front teeth in half. And I was just what like. They, they were the baby teeth, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Thank yeah. God. God, if they weren't, just imagine how big these <laughs> motherfuckers would be. Like <laughs> Timmy Turner. Yeah, I'd be goddamn <laughs> the, the angry beavers. I'm, 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 um, no, but yeah, I was just boom in half, and I'm like, ah! And my mom's like, ah! <laughs> like, don't show me this shit. <laughs> yeah, but was there blood at that point? Uh, I don't remember actually. Dude, if that happened to my kid, I probably wouldn't even be able to look at him. Yeah, like, we're taking those out. Yeah, <laughs> you're I just gonna forego two incisors real quick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let me just. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. 
Fuck that, dude. Uh, my brother did a similar thing. He had a permanent uh, mic. He had a permanent fat lip on his lower lip. Oh, yeah. Because uh, when he was a kid. Uh, <laughs> when he was a kid, he was walking with a brick. Like a big <laughs> old cinder brick. And he tripped. Like a breeze block? Yeah. Okay. He, like, tripped face on brick, Ugh. lower lip forward, Pierced. front teeth pierced no. the oh, lip no. he's just trying to give himself snake bites dude. <laughs> it didn't work <laughs> he just got a big old fat lip dude and i was like yeesh wow oh man so we're talking about ghost stories yeah, I kids mean, are stupid kids do kids are dumb you as got fuck. ghost stories no i haven't ghost no, stories thank god that's because darius doesn't fuck with ghosts i don't fuck with oh ghosts. yeah i respect them yeah i don't fuck with ghosts <laughs> i fuck with ghosts i'm of the woolly variety of what? what does that mean? Well, did you watch his Japan video? No. When he went to the suicide forest? And... No. Found the dead body. No, yeah, he's not... Ch- 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 whatever, <laughs> Paul. Um, uh, no, he, he went into the suicide forest, and he's like, where you at, bitch ghosts? <laughs> but he added a word in there that I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> and he had a whole bit where he's like, these ghosts ain't shit. This forest ain't that spooky. <laughs> and it's like, yeesh. So he's getting cursed. Yeah. <laughs> you don't go into a death forest and call ghost bitches. Yeah. Uh, no. So it's so my ghost story. I've got a couple. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A couple were turned a, a, a very well-learned man into a ghost believer. Mm. Um, so first of all, uh, a ghost would constantly move Wendy's glasses whenever she slept. Like, literally into different rooms of the house. And she's like, what the fuck is going on? She's like, dude, James. That would drive me mad. Dude, she's like, James, did you fucking move my glasses? And I'm like, why would I? <laughs> like, I'm in my room watching TV or you going to move sleep. Her glasses. This isn't yeah. a long con, right? Yeah, no. Okay. No, I didn't. <laughs> this, this is, if it was, this would be the it's perfect time to be like, I got you. <laughs> no, because my dad wasn't there. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, like, he was off on a trip and she was watching me. Okay. And these glasses would move to different rooms of the house. Weird. But my mom would constantly be like, hey, don't, like, sleep with your glasses on to her. Mm. Be like, you got to move them somewhere else. So she's like, what the fuck is going on? Yikes. Uh, and then when, <laughs> uh, oh, I've got, dude, you're so lucky that I didn't live in this house. You wouldn't have stepped a fucking foot into it. So my dad had a grief counselor that just ended up being his friend, like mm-hmm. for when my mom and my brother died and, uh, they just would talk in the basement and get high and have fun. Uh, and just be like, <laughs> you know, be like, Hey, how, how you feeling this week? You doing good? Okay, cool. Um, but my dad walked down first and he turned around to like say hi to him. And the dude came down and no shit. There was a fishing reel on the wall, and it just launched to the other oh, side. Oh, your dad! I heard your dad talk about this one. <laughs> and like, <laughs> the dude just looks at him, and my dad's like, "So, what do you think about that?" <laughs> oh no, no! The other dude was like, "What do you think about that, Jim?" And he's like, "What do you mean? What do I think about that? My house is fucking ghosts." <laughs> 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 and then he just shrugged and kept walking like, like <laughs> they don't fuck with me very much so i'm okay with this oh my god and then uh joe lived with us for a bit and his friend from like arizona lived with us i think his name was ben mm-hmm. uh and ben was like i don't fucking believe in ghosts this is bullshit like blah 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 blah, blah. like i'll prove this all false blah 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 blah, blah. my dad's like dude what do whatever you want i'm not trying to make you a believer <laughs> yeah, right. like this i just, just know happens. what's happening in my house <laughs> <laughs> and uh <laughs> There was straight up, like, my dad came home, and the dude, Ben, was standing, looking outside into my backyard, and he's just white as a fucking sheet. And my dad's like, doing okay there, buddy? And he, like, (laughs) looks at him, and he's just like, there was someone behind me, Jim. And he's like, yeah, probably. And he's like, you don't get it. There was someone behind me, and they touched my fucking shoulder, dude. There was no one in this house but me. And he's like, yeah. (laughs) I'm aware. <laughs> I told you when you came in here, bro, dude. Like, you didn't have to believe me. I didn't give a shit. <laughs> and it's like, yep, it's good stuff. God, touching you? Oh, yep. God. And then uh, the last one that I know of uh, is Cassie slept in the backyard in, like, a tent once. Mm-hmm. And this was, like, a couple months after Mike died. And <laughs> Mike, when he was younger, would always, like, Cause she would sleep in the backyard just for fun. Like, ha I'm a teenager. Mm. I want my own space. Okay. And like, he would just go out there and like fucking rub his hand on the fucking pen <laughs> and like fuck with her. And that happened all night when she was sleeping in there to the point that she had to leave and go back inside 
because she's like, I can't handle that. If Mike is gonna fuck with me from like yeah, yeah. from the great beyond like this, wow. like I don't I don't think I can do this ever again. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, no shit, because there's not like that's evidence as far as I'm concerned that that same human being was like. Yo, check this Do shit. Wow. You know? <laughs> like, ghost stories are good, dude. <laughs> the so, only one that I really remember is about, like, a possessed doll that my sister had. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, like, moved throughout the house, I guess. Oh, it was too creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 was, creepy. it was, like, one of those shitty ones where it's just, like, a stuffed doll, like, center and, like, half of a leg and then the other half is, like, actually, like, plastic or whatever. <laughs> And so, like, it ended up, like, in the living room once, so then we put it back in my sister's room, and then it came back out in the living room, and we're like, no, we're not dealing with this. <laughs> so, so we opened the garage and chucked it in the fucking back of the garage and closed it, and then, like, after a while, like, we found it again in my sister's, like, dresser drawer, and we're like, <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> no so we ripped its limbs off and its head and oh then we God. buried it behind the shed <laughs> is it still there behind the shed no uh my my dad my dad like had that construction for the uh right garage his, his, so he uh, fucking ripped out everything nice okay i was gonna say you can't just leave us <laughs> no noah yeah so we i mean it's probably it not there <laughs> oh my god dude yeah i can love ghosts <laughs> I would totally do the phasmophobia shit. I'd go yeah. into a haunted place just to like fuck around. Yeah, at yeah. night. Fuck it. No. Yeah, why not? No. <laughs> Cause Leave the them alone. <laughs> I I believe in ghosts. Cause I'm like I, I've had too many experiences. Sure. You know, like that shit ain't natural. <laughs> I think it's a fun subject to entertain. Exactly. I, I don't think if I necessarily believe. It's, it's, I think I would agree with you. I think it's more that I would like to believe. Yeah, yeah. And I don't have a... I have I have enough reasons to feel like I'm more on the side of believing, right? Because sure. it's like, enough experiences have happened to me. Yeah. That I'm like, if I denied it, I would be an asshole. Sure. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like... It's You'd like if Darius levitated guy. right now and I was like, ghosts don't... Ghosts yeah. don't reel. <laughs> Chris Angel does that too. Someone was behind me, Jim. Someone touched me. Someone touched me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, shit's so good. But yeah, time for uh, Hell's Paradise. Yeah, yeah, Hell's Paradise. Goddamn, this this shit. <laughs> it has no business being this good. What the Hell's Paradise? Oh yeah. It has no business being this good, and Dude, you yeah, didn't like it the first time. I, I liked it. I just. I liked it. It just it wasn't like really good. It was. Sure. I was like, yeah, it's cool. It was some things I wasn't really feeling, but holy fuck, it is getting. They, they anime. all shored up. Yeah, yeah. It was great. It is getting anime. Thank God. There's no way that pirate guy's dead, right? Yeah, I. I feel There's like no it can't way. Be. What pirate guy? The guy with the scars. Yeah, and his brother. And the scratches. And his eyes. The blind. No, dude? just scars. oh, the pirate dude with the brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't even know if he's a pirate. He's a thief. Thief, yeah. I, I remember you specifically said they called him a pirate, so Did I'm they? liable to uh, believe. I don't remember if that's <laughs> true or not anymore. Well, I mean, when I'm done reading these ten chapters in five minutes, Darius, <laughs> yeah. I guess I can go back. <laughs> I just know that he's like in command of people. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's like probably a just a bandit. I just call him a pirate but, because I'm cause stupid. Cool. <laughs> holy, holy shit! This, this is good. Man. Yeah, it it's is. getting good. It's getting good. So it starts off with the fucking the the samurai with the headband. Yep. And the, and the kid trying to like go back to the boat, and the boat's get fucked up by some squid monster mm-hmm. with faces, yep, and tentacles. And like I, I was just like, okay, that's your running. I I thought the, the samurai dude was a girl at first too. And uh, Wait, with the headband, yeah. What is with you Wait, with this what? manga, bro? Uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm just like, okay, it's your, you know, it's your running the mill characters going back to the boat. The, the whole point of this is just to show that the boat's over. Is that the boat's being yeah, destroyed? You, you yeah, you can't go back. There is like, no return. Stark, blah, blah, blah. Th- this chapter made me care about these two. <laughs> they made the me little care kid about the, the, and, and the, the, the samurai with the headband. Yeah, yeah maybe care about them because like they start talking, start talking to each other, and the kids like, "Fuck, we're fucked." He's like, "Why'd you bring your sword out, dumbass?" Like, yeah, they're they... attracted to shiny things. And he just he starts defending the kid. And I was like, "Oh shit, I, I care," you know, like because the kid gives up. Yeah, the kid's yeah. like, it's over, dude. Yeah, we're fucked. 
And he's like, no, I'm going to fucking keep slicing. And he, he slices. And he, gets, he gets pierced by one of the fangs. Yep. Or, like, one of the tentacle thingies. I don't know. <laughs> and, like, he wraps his hand up. He's like, go, go, go. Which is fucking, which is cool. And, and then we meet his master. Yeah, the master's cool. The master's the last chapter. But um, you found out that the kid's a girl. I thought the kid was a boy. <laughs> and you thought the samurai was a girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, you find out that the kid's a girl, and um, I can kind of see where he's coming from. Like, oh, I, sure. I can see why he would think that. Yeah, that the the same oh, a girl. A, a girl. Yeah. yeah, it's the long hair plus the way they drew the eyes is like the thinner. Sure. So it's like I can give it to him. I won't berate you for being like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you find out they're a girl, and they 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 get away, <clears throat> and pretty much the bolts are fucked. There is no escape. Yeah. So then the next chapter is just once again kind of people shitting on the main girl. Yeah. <laughs> like the samurai girl being like, you don't belong here. Yeah, the, but, the uh, like older dude is like pretty much saying like, get out of here. Get the, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. What are you doing? And um, she pretty much is like trying to like convince herself that she does belong here. Yeah. And she she's just as good as everyone else. And she has a nice heart to heart with... Uh, the main character, Gabumaru. Gabumaru. I knew the empty, but I was like, yeah. I don't remember his fucking <laughs> first name. With Gabumaru, where the person's like, she's like, you're so strong, man. And he's like, yeah, why are you saying that like you're not? Yeah, like, yeah. You're stronger than he, me. He, he, has a, he has a good line where he says, I'm very good at measurement strength. Yeah. And like, I don't know what it is about you, but like, it could be like, it's, it's not all physical with you. It could be heart. You know, like you, I can see some strength in you. It could be like heart or spirit, but something about you is super strong, and that like kind of helps her realize that she does belong on this island. She can go toe to toe with everybody else. Yeah, and he's even like, "Why are you even worried?" There's a saying in my village that's like, "You won't know how strong you are until you experience the world." Like, yeah, of mm-hmm. course you think you're weak. You've been be- you've been told you're weak and shitty for your whole life. Right? Fuck it. Yeah, among the clan of like the strongest. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's kind of like a DBZ thing, right? Goku's yeah. the weakest of all Saiyans when they first meet him, and it's like, yeah, but the Saiyans are still such a strong race right. that the weakest of them is still buff as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like he can snap any normal human's neck, and he basically does. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> but yeah, then it's just uh, she's like, why do you got to be a fucking piece of shit? big dude who keeps telling me to leave this island like fuck you your eyes are gross you keep <laughs> looking down on me because i'm a woman you're a piece of shit yeah and he pretty much is like i was just trying to save you and then he kind of attacks at her but but she suits him so good because <laughs> she just steals his sword and is like here you go you want this back here you go <laughs> <laughs> I think the big guy attacks right after that. Yeah. Sure does. The big Kills giant him. dude who killed the dude with the eye patch. Mm. Yep. Which the the guy with the eye patch is most definitely dead. Yeah, he's yeah, 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 he's no. most definitely dead. The guy's paste on a tree. <laughs> then we figure out this guy's backstory. Yeah, and he's just a child. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's just, just a child in a man's baby. body. Yeah. He wants to play patty cake with everybody. God, he gets fucking rocked. <laughs> I don't like that a human being makes the sound effect tear, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, he like takes a swat and fucks up the, the captain dude. This guy's a bear. Who's been an asshole. Yeah. And I I love this fight. This fight is so fucking good. I was I, I wanted to make a comment about this. I was thinking about it after you said how good this fight is. The reason I think you like this fight and the reason I like this fight is this fight plays out like the final fight of a JoJo. Where they have to use their brain. It's not just punch yeah. and figure it out. But, like, mm-hmm. I punched faster slightly, so I won the fight. It's, holy shit, how do we win this? He's a fucking demon. Yeah. Uh, I think that's one of the, the best things about Spider-Man. Yeah. Because Spider-Man oh, always true. has to use his brain to, like, beat his villains. It's never just, like, punch hard. Yeah, he's not Superman. Yeah, yeah. he always is using his brain to fight his villains because his villains are so well-designed. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, they have to fight this big-ass, what, what is, is he, like, what? 20 feet tall he's big as fuck he's he's something big he's yeah. up there with the trees <laughs> that's how big he is and like everything that they're on at him just doesn't matter and the girl is like 
I can I can kill him in one slice, but he has to. I have to be able to get to his head, and he's too far, too too tall for me to even get to his head. Yep, and his head has to be like hung down because the way you slice heads off, right. I guess. So she can get in between the vertebrae. Yeah, and like the ninja guy is throwing everything he can at him, and he just like nothing is affecting him at all. And he comes up with a brilliant idea. Yeah, he, yeah. He, there's even a cool page. It's this page yeah. where he's like, okay, what can work? Nope. None nope, of what nope. I have. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I, I also like this page because I can't wait to see some of these moves. Yeah. He uses some of them. Yeah, that's dope. But it's yeah. like, oh, oh, he's, so he's got tricks. Teaser. It's a right? little teaser. So when he pulls out Ninja <clears throat> Art Water Burst in five chapters right. i'm not gonna be like oh he ass pulled that it's, yeah yeah oh that, this is a really smart way to do something like that yeah for sure you think it was specifically designed for that i think or, it might be yeah or do I, you think some of them are just like shit that he made up column a column b right because yeah. i could see him making up water burst because that's so simple you yeah, know just sure. taking that one out of the list but I feel like this this, this dude, guy yeah definitely knows what he's doing he he's like he's like my hero he knows what he doesn't like seeing in every other anime that he's watched and read. Mm. And, like, manga he's read, right? So he's like, I hate ass pulls. So let me just show off that he knows more so it doesn't right. feel like an ass pull, that's right? Because that's, that's yeah, the cause beauty. Yeah, because we didn't see him, like, earn that. So him just having it would be... Yeah. Exactly. And I think that's the beauty of, like, manga today that's getting created today. Yeah. Is that all the people who have been like, holy shit, power levels are fucking stupid. Mm-hmm. Or, holy shit, like, pulling random anything out of your butthole to win random a fight abilities. is stupid. Yeah. Like, I also found out that this is actually in, like, an offshoot of Shonen Jump. Is it? It's in, like, Shonen Jump Plus, I think. Neat. I think... Sorry, I was I was thinking about something else. For some reason, I thought this was in Shueisha. Mm-hmm. But it's something else that I'm reading that's in Shueisha. Yeah. That I was like, oh, fuck. So, well, th- good. Then I'm I'm glad it's yeah. you know, and like Darius said, it's getting an anime. Dude, I'm excited. So it's gonna be a really good anime. I, I can't wait for people to just lose their shit over it. Yeah, to care. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully people will care. I, dude, like I think everything's here that everybody could want. He's right. I think this is. I, I really think this is gonna pop off. Yeah. I mean, I hope you're right. I just I know that people. If like, a good studio gets it, it'll definitely pop off. Yeah. Just like uh, Jujutsu Kaisen is popping off, which is good because I was reading that, and as I was reading it, I'm like, I don't know. It's it's good. I, I think you'd like it. I don't have like an image of what that is. Uh, that's fair. I don't think I've Jujutsu Kaisen. It. It's a uh, it? guy with red hair. Guy with blindfold. Is yeah, it? <laughs> it's this. Ugh, thank you for the. Oh, I'm not familiar at all. Yeah, the the OP is amazing. I'll I'll show it to you. But no, uh, it's it's fucking fantastic, and it's the same thing. Where as I was reading it, I was like, okay, no, they know what they want. Yeah, they're annoyed by shit too, and it's it's like, I, you brought it up. I think it's what if Bleach was good. Yeah, is kind of how Jujutsu Kaisen is presented Hmm. it's like what if he wasn't just half everything and the reason he's strong is because of something that he did i kind of feel like that's what my hero is what if naruto was good exactly i i agree completely yeah like it's there's more to it than that Mm -hmm. but there's definitely a feeling of i read you i think i can do better sure and so he does (laughs) like um just like I think back in the day, I think One Piece was that for Dragon Ball Z. Legitimately. It was, okay, I understand the formula. Let me try to beat it. Yeah. And it, it totally feels like, like, the. I'm not saying that's why he's Monkey D. Luffy, like, Monkey and whatever. And I mean, Goku's power pole extends, like, Son Goku, and sure. he's got an extending. I'm not saying that's he's supposed <laughs> to be the Monkey King in that world, but, like, I can see it now that I said that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I see see that. He just kind of got overwhelmed with the success and now is just doing whatever the fuck he wants and yeah. lost, the, lost the view of the finish line. Also, side note, this is really dumb. Darius, you said that you, I had really pretty eyes back then, but I think we're both sleeping on Noah's eyes. Noah's got some fucking pretty, pretty eyeballs. I just have, like, blue eyes. 
Yeah, but like when the, when the light's hitting him, I oh, think yeah. it's the same moment that he had when when lake. he was when, when, I, when he was looking into my lake eyes surrounded by water. <laughs> you got to hit it with the right light. Exactly. You know? <laughs> you know, you can't you can't respect eyeballs until you get them in the right light. It's just like the the Kurta clan, you know, Kurapika. <laughs> just to respect those eyes, you got to pluck them out. Anyway, back to fucking <laughs> Hell's Paradise. Yeah, so uh, they're, they're they're fighting this big dude, and nothing fucking works. And um, the only way to fucking beat him is to get his head down. So G- G- Garamaru, what's his G- name? Gabamaru. G- G- Gabamaru. That's not even. Yeah. Is that not his name? <laughs> no, it is. I was gonna say it's not that hard to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it's you're me. Gonna fuck him up. It's me. You don't remember it. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> uh. So I do love that as soon as the girl joins the fight, she's not weak. She gets a finger off on him immediately. Yeah, she did get a finger mm-hmm. off on him. And it's like, okay, good. Like, she's not going to have, like, an, oh, I don't know if I can do this, Gabamaru. Yeah. It's, I can do this. Yeah, this I've is been the entrusted. one fight where she's, like, my motive and whatever is a line. Yep. Like, heart or whatever <laughs> the fuck she goes for. I love that they're both like, would you, uh, would you help me? Okay, let's help. <laughs> let's do this. Oh, I think I read somewhere that they design, like, the parts that they're going to, like, make for this comic uh, in Chapters of Ten. Oh, really? Like, yeah. So are we actually doing this correctly? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Fuck, then I guess I can't give Darius shit for us not being able to read more <laughs> chapters. Been giving him shit this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Gabumaru knows that if he gets grabbed, he's fucked. So he starts, like, perfect parrying this dude. He's getting third strike red parries yeah. off of him. <laughs> like... He fucked up his foot at one point, too, right? Yeah. Just, like, trying to parry him. And he's like, that totally... Yeah, because he's like, oh, perfect. I totally made that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking spits <Yeah>. blood everywhere. <laughs> uh. And the fucking... The, 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 their partners, the ninja girl and the samurai dude, they're just sitting back, and Gamaru asks her for help. And she's like, nah, fuck that. Yeah, so to be fair, she's like, yeah, I'll help you any way you want. But like our plan says, you be the brawn, I'll be the brain. I'll tell you what his fucking deal is. And she just leans back and, and he's like. The samurai dude, she like, he's like, he's like, we should help. And she looks back at him and, like, and says, yeah, but you probably don't want them to see what you can do as well. Yeah. And she also me... kunai sticks him to the tree. Yeah. So he can't even move. He's just like <laughs> dangling there like a fucking prize. But it makes me think that like he is up to some shit too like he's the, trying to no nerd guy yeah yeah because yeah. like he he must have something for her to say that oh absolutely like, also i love that he's like i was vigilant i got hit if that's all it is i'm fine <laughs> <laughs> fucking blood out the <laughs> eyes too <laughs> it's just like ee. oh yeah so uh the, the whole fight is super fantastic because she starts perfect parrying and it's super cool. And then Gabumaru was like, okay, he's tall. I know what we have to do. And he uses his fire ability, and you're like, okay. Okay, what are you going to do with it? That's, yeah. uh, you know, sure. You're on fire now. It's pretty cool. Uh, and he just starts fucking... Shooting him like crazy, but everything keeps bouncing off. Yeah, and he's, like, using the fire on the rocks. He's just using mm. the exact same moves he's been using. And that's, like... They're just fire now, and it's like okay, you, you use buffs. I get it. I, d- yeah. I do that in Neo. I, you know, it's fine. <laughs> and uh, I honestly didn't understand what they were trying to do until the ninja girl fucking said it. Yeah. And like that's cool because most of the time when it's like here's my plan, and then in a manga it's like oh I know exactly what your plan is. Right. Like it's not that good of a plan. It's it's okay. Yeah. But yeah, they they start lighting the trees on fire, so the fucking like carbon monoxide is going to cause him to pass out. And then it's like, if his head's on the ground because he passed out, right. easiest target in the fucking he world. Has to, like, look under it. Right. Which was fucking genius, dude. It was so smart. I love when characters do that. They gotta use their fucking head. I really like this, too. Yeah, did yeah. You, I was trying to figure out, was she seeing this? Or is this just him? This is just his, him. Like, yeah. And it shows that, like, she's getting better. 
yeah, at what her job is, is. The peace that she's giving him in death, oh. as yeah. opposed to the agony that she's only been able to uh, give people. Exactly, because mm. like what the her dad or whoever it was was like they died with ag- like pain on their face. Yeah. You're a failure, and not only did he not have pain, she soothed his like lingering pain from mm, being, a child. being a piece of shit. Yeah. 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 Um, which is why he's a baby again when she picks up his head and is like, hey, it's okay. Like, any, I love the line, too, where she's like, anyone who's mad at you now that you're dead is a piece of shit themselves. Because it's like she's just trying to be like, don't yeah. worry anymore. It doesn't matter that you were a criminal before because it's over. you're, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> literally, you can't be hurt anymore. Yeah. So... so does she just is she just using the sword the other guy gave her now, or does she still have her own sword? That's what I wasn't really clear about. Um, I'm not sure. No, I think I thought the big dude. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the big dude lost his sword when they were fighting, and then he had taken her sword from her. Oh, that was her sword. I think so, because she was passed out and she didn't have her sword. Mm. So I think the guy took it to protect them, uh-huh. and then that's why he was also like, "Get the fuck out of here." Because okay. it's like, you don't need this sword because yeah. you're a woman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I was I was very glad that they developed her and didn't make her the standard. Yeah, she's not just Sakura. Yeah. She's going to be worthless for the rest of the fucking manga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was, that was like, that was good. So now she's like actually a real character and she can put up some numbers now. Yep. And she's even like, yeah, I don't really care about the other samurai right now. We've got a job to do. Yeah. They got to take care of themselves. Yeah. It's like, hell yeah. And then they find, honestly, I was kind of surprised. They find a village pretty early. Yeah. I was expecting at least 10 more chapters of a jungle. <laughs> <laughs> like, minimum, fighting some mooks. Um, and, I hope he's not dead, dude. Dude, he's so cool. I love him. He's like a piece him. of shit, but yeah. I love him. Yeah, so then they they find a they find a village and then they cut back to the fucking pirate dude and his brother apparently. Yep. Because his brother still looks like a girl to me. <laughs> and they find these like two like fairy nymph nymphs, women. Yeah, yeah <laughs> like fucking each other. And, and even they're their surprise, like, they're like they're like no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't notice the 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 hair on the other guys like drips of water kind of yeah yeah kind of like more i don't know i was almost gonna say like more how the japanese tend to draw dreads almost yeah mm-hmm. I, I had to go back and see if i saw both of them have titties oh yeah because because yeah, he, he transforms into yeah i was guy. like wasn't it two girls at first yeah and also uh <laughs> one of the girls is like you want fuck yeah, <laughs> and the other one's like, "That's gross. Don't do that. They're human." Yeah, yeah, they because they, they when they when they see them, they say like, "Oh, humans haven't made it this far in a long time." Yep. <laughs> and then he crushes that fruit, and when he's like, "How dare you make me wither?" is like just a very fancy way of saying you made me soft, basically. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "You piece of shit, humans. Fucking, I can't fuck to this." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then there's just a random human girl yeah. that shows up with Gabimaru and... Do you remember the girl's name? Because I sure fucking don't. The samurai? Yeah. No. Yeah, I fuck don't. her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck we just her. talked about how glad she is that we, yeah. we are that she came into... Well, maybe we'll remember her name now that she's important. Yeah. Because <laughs> she wasn't. <laughs> well, I, I most definitely won't. You got tree okay, man. so we meet the tree man. <laughs> I think... The tree man mm-hmm. is what you turn to if you let the flower disease to over to like run its course. Yeah, but the other people that were infected, like they just went crazy or just straight up died. But it might have not ran its course yet. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I could be fucking wrong. Well, no. like boats would return just full of flowers and shit. Darius makes a point though because this dude does say he's like a thousand years old. So maybe Darius, Darius might be right, and maybe it just maybe. takes a long time for the flowers to actually like get you to this point. I'm not gonna say Darius is wrong. I mean, I could, I could be wrong, but that's, but, you, but that's... you might be right. I don't, don't, don't throw, don't throw your dream away yet, Darius. I think <laughs> he might be onto something. Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> I'm gonna keep I'm on dreaming. I'm gonna decide on that you're wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
So yeah, they they fight this tree man. Yeah, they 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 go. Gobamaru goes straight for the girl. Mm. So because they see the girl, the girl runs. He goes straight for the girl. They see a tree man. He dodges the, gr- the girl. And just says. He talks. He talks to the ninja girls like handle tree man. Yep, you guys but, like, deal with it. They didn't. He didn't even try to like say, "Hey, how you doing?" He just went straight for her. So well, the, he's a murderer. The tree thing, of course, attacks. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be skeptical as hell if I found a fucking child. You're 100 percent right, especially where I on this island. Almost died <laughs> like five times in less than yeah. 72 hours. You, you can't trust shit on this island. That's oh, for sure. Uh, Sigiri, that's the girl's name. Uh, Let's try to remember Sigiri. that, Noah. I won't. That's why I only said Noah. <laughs> You're good, baby. <laughs> um, yeah, she starts to use something. Yeah, like a like a poison sweat yeah. thing. But we don't get to see that, sadly. And the girls, the little girl's super strong yeah, and like flips Gabamaru. Judo flips him. <laughs> and and then like the little girl tries to like do a little girl anime punch, like yeah. a, eh. and Gabamaru's like, don't don't take that. Yeah. Why would you, it's slow, but don't don't take that. And he gets rocked. Uh, so he ties her the fuck up in vines. Because he's like, eh, I ain't deal with this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Something's weird here. And then he scares her because he's a fucking murderer ninja. <laughs> and she just starts crying. Yeah, the, 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 the Sigori. Uh, Sagiri. Sagiri just like comforts her and is like, "Come here, it's okay." I love, I love too that Gabamaru is like, she's crying. It's not a question; it's a statement. He's just like, <laughs> uh. <laughs> development. You know, <laughs> it's like a dog barking at something because it exists. It's just like, bro, <laughs> got you, boss. <laughs> Damn, kicking shit. <laughs> but yeah, so they get to the girl. And they're like, "What do we do? Do we uh, do we beat her up? Do we ask her a question?" They're like, uh, "We can't really ask her shit until she stops crying, cause it's a child, yeah. Gabamaru, you fucking animal." <laughs> and then the tree man's like, "Oh, please excuse me." Do yeah, not start uh, talking. Yeah. And he's like talking all proper, <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> like he's like, "No, oh, please, please forgive us. You know, I did not. Uh, you know, please don't hurt the child. I'd, yeah. r- I'd rather just take you to the village, and that'd be okay." Yeah, we have food there. <laughs> And then they're all they're all like suspicious, like, why would you give us food? Is this a trap? Yeah, and he's like, I have a bath. Yeah, <laughs> and they're like, time for a bath. Yeah. And the, <laughs> the tree, the tree guy says, I would not lie to you. We don't lie. Only humans do that. Yeah, which is super interesting. It's like, okay, so you don't consider yourself human at all, which is I, I get. Look he's at you, thousand years old. Yeah, and then yeah. they're like, what? You're not one of those monsters? And he's like, nah, I was born on this island. It's cool. Yeah, and then the girl ninja's like, "Oh, neat! Yeah. Like, fuck off! I don't care. Give me the bath." <laughs> yeah, he, he, uh, it describes the monsters as like protectors or something, right? Yeah, deities. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. And she, I think he said they're only in the forest area. They don't come to the village. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And it's like his house is full of like super old shit, and it's just like, oh, neat. Okay, uh, there's a weird bath time. Where yeah. they have baths. Obligatory. Yeah, obligatory baths. There's yeah. not even a lot of TNA, which I'm actually pretty happy about. Like, there's there's a bit, but it's not, like, excessive. So it's like he's drawing them because it's it's not tit milk, the, the manga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, the boobs are there so because you love they're tit naked. Mi- t- yeah. Tit milk, the manga. I don't. I'm not. I'm not even letting you get how this How many far. chapters did you read, then, James? <laughs> Darius, not... I've read many how chapters. How many chapters did you read? Like 68? Yeah, something like that. Okay, or 69. <laughs> yeah, I'll kill you. Nice. <laughs> nice. Don't do this to me, Darius. You enjoy your, you enjoy your tit milk manga. I spent 30 minutes talking about how much I hated it. Don't you do this to me, Darius. <laughs> God, fuck it, damn it. Anyway, yeah, so bath time and the ninja, the the, the samurai and Gabamaru are like, do we, do we talk? Or, and there's like, I don't know, fucking, let's wait for the girls to get back from their fucking bath. He's like, I just want the elixir. Where do we find it? And the dude's like, they keep getting interrupted because it's a manga. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like, there's there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He's like, it's a fruit or something. Yeah. In the center. Uh, yeah, when he describes the island. Have we got to that part yet? Yeah. When, We're about to do it. Okay. Because that, that's super interesting, uh, the way the island yeah, split up. There's like three layers to it. Yeah. 
And of course, the looks are all the way in the fucking middle. Yeah, of course. It's got to be. And it's in the mist area covered by mist. I, I also love that it, they're, they're like, does the elixir even exist? And the dude's like, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Why would yeah, it? Yeah, he confirms it. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, he's like, it's a bottle of liquid. Yeah, but he also said there's a legend that says that the elixir exists. True. He doesn't know for certain that there is one. Or but that he's also like, yeah, but there are immortals. Yeah. So I, I can only assume it's correct. Right, right, right. Which is perfectly valid. Yeah. <laughs> like you said, he's not lying. He's giving them as much as he can, yeah. which is cool. I hope he's a character. Yeah. I hope he exists. Like, I don't want he's them to great. just leave and him go, hmm, village. <laughs> you know like yeah and then we go no, back to Tencent. god dude he's so big yeah like he's a solid 10 feet wow. like cut him in half and gabamaru's like nah i'm good thanks or not gabamaru uh, uh the god gets cut in half by the the, the pirate yeah and he's like nah his name is Tenson. Tenson. He's the perfect being. And then he just fucking kills them. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Effortlessly. Look at that, like, limp. Yeah. And, and it just shatters it. Because he's just... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. This fucking art's great. It's insane, dude. Uh... Yeah, and Kamamaru starts fucking pointing his sword at, like, the, the monster just to be a dick, I guess. <laughs> it's not even to be a dick. He just ha- doesn't know any better, right? And, yeah. and like, Sigiri even, I think, says that because she's like, don't point your sword at a fucking child. Like, mm. knock it off. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't flowers coming out of the guy? Out of who? The pirate yeah, guy? Yeah, the pirate guy. Um, Let me go back. I think it's on the next page. Oh, is it? Because yeah. I know he throws. I think okay. I think on the next one, yeah. Mm, they're going on to him. Okay. It lo- yeah, it looks like they're about to, they're trying to like okay do whatever the pit does. Yeah. He doesn't look good though. No, no, because everyone around there is definitely flowered yeah, up, yeah, yeah. and uh, the pirate dude's not dead yet because I just realized that his eye opens. Okay. Between when his brother starts pulling the vines off of him, okay. so he's not dead yet. Not yet. Nice. Not yet. Nice. Um, yeah, there's no way they kill him off this early. No, he's too cool. Yeah. <laughs> then again, the blindfold, the the the, the eye patch guy was cool as shit too. Yeah. And he's dead in ten seconds. Get uh, back to my boys. It might as well have happened off screen. Yeah, honestly. you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, somehow Palpatine has returned. To <laughs> like, uh, and so then yeah. this heartbreaking shit. Yeah. Oh, dude, I fucking love when this guy just appeared out of the sky. Because I was, dude, so I'm like, I'm thinking, okay, the, the guy who just killed the pirate dude is like the main god. And, you know, there's only probably one. Yeah, and, and like that girl might be a god too, I guess. Yeah, or but, he could just be fucking her or something, you know. Yeah. like. And then they just immediately run to another motherfucker who just falls out of the sky. And they're pissed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And they're just like, was it? I think that one, that one, that guy changes sexes as well too, right? Does it? I don't think it does. I think he, uh, it comes down as a girl, and then it transforms into a man. I don't remember. Mm, I can see what Darius means. He, it might. It is not necessarily clear yet. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 that might just be cloth when he jumps down, mm. but I think Darius is right. I think it it does transform. Yeah, I mean, the other guy was able to, so. Yeah. So yeah, he's fast as fuck, strong as fuck. There's no reason, like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He's, he's just a god. Yeah. And you're like, oh, well, these people are probably dead. I hate that shit. <laughs> what, this? Yeah. Not a fan? No. You don't want to watch that movie where the person cuts the girl's eyes? No. Yeah, it's bad. They zoom up on it because no. they, they change it out for a goat eye. So they actually show. And it, Gross. Ugh. Why? Old movies, dude. Black and white. Gotta make that shit creepy. <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's trying his best to fight this fucking god. Yep. And they cut it and then they run. And even in pieces, the god outruns them. Yeah. He's just like, <laughs> you ruined my clothes piece of shit it's like uh okay 
And then my boy, the blind extraordinaire. <laughs> yeah, the blind swordsman. I, I love like the, his design with the like scars on his eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I want to know how he got those scars because that's three. Someone that was deliberate as fuck. Mm, yeah. Watch it turn out to be Gamaru's fucking uh oh, chief. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, Gamaru's the stone the village. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because everyone's freaking out, or the the little girl's freaking out because he's like, he doesn't have eyes, but he's running through the forest faster than we are. Yeah, and it's like that's uh that's fuck. You're not really blind, are you? Um. Uh, yeah, then he's just jerking him off the whole time. Yeah, he really <laughs> is. <laughs> like this, we're we're all safe. This is my master. We're good. <laughs> And I thought he was dead too, because I remember them showing when the girl tried to seduce him, and like when the when they like mm-hmm. first got to the island. Yeah, yeah, it looked like it was for sure working. Yeah, and he just like wrecked nope. her. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! Why is she even trying to show him his tits? Her tits if, if he's blind. So you can cop a feel. Yeah, I think it was just so he could cop a feel. <laughs> you know, it's easier to do when when you're not wearing clothes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have Danny Phantom hands, Darius? Can you just go through clothes? <laughs> Can you just teach us your secret power? <laughs> so, basically, the dude's like, look, you can't train this criminal girl. Fuck you. Yeah. Like, he's like, oh, I wanted a trainer. You can't train her. But I was also criminal, and you let me train. He's like, ah, oh, goddammit, now I gotta yeah. train her. <laughs> yeah, he's like... <laughs> Fine, yeah. I mean, you are my apprentice. We're both dumbasses. Yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> like, pack the kid up. Let's go. <laughs> I'm glad he's taking time to, like, show us these characters, man. Yeah. Because he could have easily just kept it with Garamaru. Gabamaru. Gabamaru. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's, he's trying. <laughs> Respectable. It, this moment right here, by the way, feels like when we ran from... Uh, eagle and the other fuckers in D D when we got to the waterfall and you're, we took a break oh yeah we're not done running yeah why did we take a break because <laughs> you have match of in your group that's why no it's because you fucked us darius I did fuck you you chose to stop at the waterfall for no fucking reason yeah if it wasn't important don't put a waterfall video games have taught us that cool things are behind the waterfalls you want to know what's behind this waterfall nothing fucking nothing. rock I, I wasn't expecting them to run they're like we run and i'm just describing the scene like uh it's the trees uh, you run past a waterfall, more de- trees, and they're like, waterfall, <laughs> we stop. Yeah, but, but Darius, <laughs> we never know when you're going to have stuff. I didn't fucking know. Def- I was just describing the forest. And- <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, so yeah, the sensei is like, these gods suck. Good thing we got away. And nope. then it just shows up again. Yeah. Immediately, just like uh, I'm not actually gone. In fact, I am still here. I think he and he tells a little kid like, "Run! I'll do my best to hold this thing off." Oh yeah, I forgot to fucking since they got sliced. Yep. Yeah. Fa at the throat too. Yep. Not the best. Yeah. No, it goes south really quickly. Oh my god, I forgot to since they got sliced. And the gods like your swings don't matter. I have grown yeah. accustomed to them. It's like, is that all you got? <laughs> the Ooh. one trick. Ooh. What? Well, you see something that you didn't notice like, the first time? Yeah, I think the god went back to being a woman. Yeah. In between. So you think it, it's like random? No, I think, I think they turn into dudes for battle. Oh, but yeah. they all are generally women. Huh. Mm. Because, but now, because the, the god is like, I'm acclimated to you, you won't hit me again. It doesn't need to be in battle mode because oh. it's got him. Shit. Right? Like, so it's it's like, this is, it's like, I'm powered down. I don't need to be at full strength to fight you. You're not that strong. That's interesting. Right? Because Tenson did the same thing. Mm-hmm. And it's just and like. And flicked boy. his ass. Yep. My boy got flicked. And, oh, he got flicked real good. Yeah. Three times. And that's the end. He gets flicked. Did you the read fucking... the next chapter? I did. Yeah. 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 On accident. Yeah. On accident. I did, Quotation. dude. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> it doesn't have the beginning chapter thing. No, but it's, it says it's a new chapter. What, does it? I, I I I didn't read the, the oh, next. Oh, it chapter. does right there. I was too focused, man. I was too focused. <laughs> you just saw your man's die, and you're like, "Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> like, no, my man's. <laughs> no, I read twenty-one too. <laughs> <laughs> 
Darius, I'm telling you, dude, we're junkies, man. <laughs> all right, next 10 chapters for next time, you know. We're you heard him. We all read 10 chapters, right? Uh, for the uh, for next 31, baby. Yeah, we get to go to 31. No, He's no, 10 no, chapters. No, no, no. <laughs> 20 to 30. Or 30 21 to 30. 21 to 30. 22 yeah. to 30. 31. <laughs> you got it. You just keep going until you get tired. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> I can do this all day. I'm very interested <laughs> in the politics between these guys because I did not think it was going to be more than one. Yeah. So, yeah, like, for reals. Do you like the other dude? Are you guys not Yeah, cool? are you tight? Yeah. They gotta be. Do I they mean, gotta be? They're their only company. Yeah, but yeah. it seems like... Well, if they were the, their only company, why weren't they all chilling? This guy seemed like he was that just That dude for obviously walk. wanted a long time with his wife. We don't know if that's his wife. We don't. That could be his his wife. The other one's wife. We don't know. We don't <laughs> fucking know. <laughs> I'm interested in politics between be these guys. Around. And I want, I want to see the fucking dragon dude again. With his uh, with his samurai, the doctor samurai. Oh yeah. I want to see what the, the fuck are they getting into. The dragon, guy, yeah, the dragon guy was the dude who cut his hand off. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's just, super dope. Yeah. Quick thinking. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got stung. <laughs> that was instant too. Was that was just, yeah. <laughs> it was smart. Yep. Oh man. At least it wasn't his right hand. Yeah, yeah. he needs that. <laughs> Oh, that shit's good. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, we are too. I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would enjoy it. Same. I I thought it was just going to be okay, but it's it's, yeah, it's very good. Yep, it, it's it's better than okay. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, Noah. Since we're shafted, if you want to read something else that's also really good, pick up Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> I think All you'd right. like it. Uh, you guys ready for any question? No, I've got one more dumb manga to talk about this week, baby. Oh, uh, you been you wrote you read something new? Uh, it's something that I already uh, read, um, but I wanted to talk about it because I talked about it with Trisha, and it seems neat. Manga corner. Uh, so this is manga called Out, and I only read it because I was like, okay, what's this about? Delinquents? I'm in. <laughs> like you know, that's a keyword. If you can send me something with a delinquent, I'll read at least 50 chapters. Yeah. <laughs> like, do they have a heart of gold? I, even if they don't, I'll take it. Like, I just, <laughs> Delinquents are cool. So it starts with this dude, and it's kind of like the Persona 5 story, where, like, the dude went to juvie, and now he's living with his, like, aunt and uncle because they're like, you were in a gang. We know you were in a gang. The only way that you are going to be good on probation is if we get you away from your gang. And he's like, sounds good. I don't want to go back to fucking Juvie. Yeah. And because he was only in there for six months. But I'll tell you what they did to him in there. And it fucked him up. So he gets out of Juvie. And he like, he's like trying his best to not be a piece of shit. But he's like, he was their like uh, attack like leader of the gang. So he was in there. It, 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 the first person in every fight. And he would take out the most people. So he's, he's strong. He's, mm -hmm. he's fucky. And he beats up a dude immediately because he looks at him wrong. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, huh? Oh, never mind. I gotta go. Gotta leave. Like, I gotta dip. I can't, I can't be a boncho. And uh, he fights the dude and he wins. And the dude's like, hey, you can't tell anyone about this. We both promised each other that we wouldn't tell anyone about this fight because you don't want to go to juvie. And I'm actually the second in command. And if I find out that I lost, there's going to be hell to pay to you, to me. It's going to be bad. And the dude's like, thumbs up i don't care is he yeah. in a new town yeah yeah completely new town right. and i was like okay i'm in uh you get some cool like scenes of like them all chilling with each other and like he's kind of getting roped up into this gang's stuff and he's like whoa i don't want to join the gang i don't want to go back to juvie yeah. but i'm not gonna let people beat motherfuckers up in front of me like i'm not gonna let that happen people have by the end there, there's like it's not over but i'm like 180 chapters in mm there have been dead children Jesus. like dead teenagers like a teenager got a gun and shot other teenagers in the head jesus and i'm like what is this america what the right <laughs> and i'm like what the fuck is that not america uh, no it's japan no oh okay i thought he went <laughs> so that's to a super big deal yeah this is huge yeah. <laughs> and it's dude like crazy shit's been happening the fights are all dope and, like, there's a lot of, like, almost political intrigue with a bunch of stuff that's happened. So, is he in the new gang, or? No. And the last thing, I don't want to spoil too much, but, like, the last thing that happened in the last chapter that came out was 
he came up to the gang leader during this big war between these two gangs that he's kind of friends with. And he's like, hey, I'm going to fight you for the other gang leader. And it's like... For the other gang leader. Yeah. So, like, I'm going to fight against my friend for the other gang leader that you guys are fighting. And it's like, why? Yeah. What the fuck's going on? Like, you don't get to are, see... Is, the, is his old gang involved in no, this war? Not okay. at all. Okay. But it's like some crazy shit going down and i like the art is fucking phenomenal nice. Noah. you'd fucking yeah you'd mark out for it i did it is no reason being this good <laughs> basically oh, uh so you might want to read it too um but no so what they did in in jail in juvie for him is that if you get angry and pissed off they put you in solitary but like solitary is not that bad but to get out of solitary you have to fold a thousand paper cranes but he's not good with his fingers for small tasks and they only give you a set amount of sheets of paper. So, like, if you fuck it up, you can't... Like, you have to use that piece of paper to make the crane, even if you fuck the paper up all, like, to shit and back. And some of the paper are, like, the professional level, like, inch by inch fucking paper mm. to fold the tiny cranes. Mm. And, like, he talks about it being, like, it took me three weeks to finish my first crane. Jesus. Because, like, he he's, he just can't focus on shit like that. And he gets really pissed off when he has to focus on that shit. And they show his, like, room after they let him out. And he, like, looks at it with fresh eyes because he got out. And he's like, I can never come back here again. And his fucking wall is covered with, like, scratch marks and fist, like, holes oh, and blood from where he was, like, scratching the fucking wall because he was going actually Yikes. insane doing this. Wow. And it's like, okay, I get it. He can't go back to Juvie <laughs> because he might actually die. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, out. Really, really, really fucking good. Nice. Really, really, really fucking good. You have to redo it. It's, it's one of those things where I went in with zero expectations, and I'm like, every every single twist and turn, I was like, oh, Hell yeah. oh, oh like <laughs> wow fantastic sounds good it's super good um so yeah now i'm ready for the ending question darius um ending question is what meal that what meal that you think you're good at cooking would you like to improve on that you think you can make better Shit. or dish you understand what i'm trying to say yeah yeah okay I'm constantly trying to prove, improve that Alfredo, dude. Yeah, yeah I was about to say you and that Alfredo. Did I? That that's that did that dish. What I, do you think you could do better? <sighs> there's just a billion different ways you can make it. Yeah, and like I, I, I Have feel you done like, like pure water yet. Not yet. Oh. Not yet. Soon. <laughs> um, but there's there's I, I could add. God damn, I can add so much, dude. I want to try adding different vegetables. Um, I want to try different cuts of chicken. To see if that, like, extra fattiness of, like, if I just use thigh meat oh, will sure. help it out. Um, God, I'm, I'm forgetting. There was something specifically that I wanted to try, and I don't fucking remember it now. And I'm pissed yeah. off. Because I was like... Start folding cranes. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude. It was one of those things where I, when I thought about it, I was like... Shh, 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 unlocked. And I was like, that's it. That's what it's missing. And I forgot it. James, no, what the fuck? It down. <laughs> Why did you write it down? I'm stupid. <laughs> oh my god! You should have at least told Trisha or something. Uh, nutmeg. I did. No, 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 no. Did she forget too? Yeah. <sighs> fuck Damn. me. Fuck, dude. I'll remember. It was in the sauce. I think it was. It was. It had to be the sauce. It had to be the sauce. It'll come back. Don't get lost. Don't get, don't get lost. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, it'll come back soon. Darius sounds like he's invested in trying <laughs> this perfect Alfredo. What about you, Noah? Shit. I know um, you're a chicken farm guy. <laughs> I, I made it once. Right. <laughs> I invited you over once because I yeah. made it, yeah. I didn't come over. No. Nope. Because I didn't know that, that I was on time limit with COVID. Because <laughs> I didn't come over for some reason. And I was like, I have plenty of time to come back over again. It's all right. You took your friends for granted. We got it. Yeah. No. <laughs> I was oh, busy do doing I go? So do I go over to Noah's house? Meh. I've got time. I was busy doing <laughs> something, and I don't, yeah, I don't remember, remember what. what it was. Not going Shit. to the dispensary with Noah. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Still hasn't happened. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Know. I've been making like breakfast sandwiches every day. Yeah. yeah. 
getting pretty good. What, what's I on tried. it? Bacon, egg, cheese? Uh, kind of. I use, like, I just haven't used bacon because I'm lazy. It's I just, like, pan fry ham. But uh, I've, like, switched out, like, the breads, different types of eggs, fucking cheeses, all that kind of shit. Uh, currently, it's, like, sourdough. Uh, cream cheese. Ooh, uh, getting fancy with it. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, use like provolone with the eggs. Try like farm fresh. They're fucking expensive, dude. They are sick of it. It's like double price. It's insane. I'm telling you, dude. When we all you know get those houses next to each other, we we'll get a chicken coop. Is a breakfast yeah, sandwich yeah. American? Is that just an America thing? Mm. I say it's European. Yeah, it's probably European. Mm. I think like. Um, like, like, like there's an American style breakfast sandwich. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. and it's basically the itis from Boom. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what's your What's your preferred bread for a sandwich? For like a like a breakfast sandwich? A breakfast sandwich? Yeah. Sourdough. Sourdough? Sourdough yeah. is the shit. Because I really like focaccia is insane, but I that's re- like a a partif. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I'm a English muffin man. Yeah, yeah, I'm a huge fan it's of English muffins. Sourdough, dude. I'll I make just you, mean I'll for make like, you a breakfast sandwich. Please do. I know how you hate bread, and like I've been thinking about it. Like you don't like bread, James? No, I'm not a big fan of bread. Really? It's insane. Yeah. Everybody. Well, loves here, bread. here's the thing. I'm a fan of bread with like soups and things like that. Right. Mm. It's just that I think the bread is the worst part of every sandwich. I don't think that's true. You yeah, can that's ruin fair. a sandwich with bad bread. Like yeah, the but, wrong kind. But it's one of those things where it's like a sandwich is still a sandwich. Like like a pi- you'll you'll eat a pizza, right? Like like a, a bad pizza is still pizza, mm-hmm. so you'll eat it. That's how I am with bread on a sandwich. Cuz here's the thing. If I have the best bread in the world, right? Mm-hmm. But every other ingredient is bad, well, I don't care <laughs> about the sandwich. Well, yeah. But if it's any other ingredient was the best, and everything else was mediocre. I would still enjoy that sandwich, because like 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 you, you could give me the worst, but you could give me the best ingredients with white bread, and I'd still enjoy that sandwich as well, much as it's white bread. bread. White bread sucks. Yeah, it's, that's what I'm. <laughs> that's literally what I said. White bread doesn't suck. It's just white bread. Yeah, it it's, sucks. It's vanilla. Yeah, it's, it sucks. Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> it's not the best bread. It's not the worst bread. What's the worst? It's bread? the worst if that's bread. That's not the worst bread. <laughs> I don't, yeah, if you I don't know, then the answer is white know every, bread. <laughs> I've never tasted every single type of bread. You don't have to taste every single type of bread in a white bread sauce. Right. That's, I, I mean, don't even fucking eat white bread. Exactly. That's why you eat it. <laughs> I don't eat it because it's shit for you. Well, yeah, it's the worst bread. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a wheat man. We all, all agree that white bread sucks. That's all that matters. <laughs> the only kind of bread I eat. Now is for my breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, it's, so it's just sourdough. We're gonna make our own sourdough soon. Yeah, yeah. So I'll 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 give you one of the starters or one of the loaves <laughs> eventually. I'll be extremely judgmental if you want me to. Yeah, I mean, go for it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care about bread. He's a, <laughs> <laughs> it won't hurt shitty him. Shitty sourdough. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be shitty sourdough <laughs> off the gate. Yeah. Oh yeah. First time making it. You should make focaccia. Shit's Probably. amazing. Rosemary, sea salt, focaccia. I'm gonna save that for in the summer yeah. when we actually grow our own rosemary. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I love tacos. And I think I can improve my taco making skills by making my own taco seasoning. Cause I'll go yeah. always go pack. Just oh, just, brutal, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's, and it's, cause I can't I'll, be that hard. I'm intimidated to like Make a taco Seize seasoning. Lots of cumin. Yeah, the main <laughs> ingredient in in all of them is just cumin. But yeah. I, I want more creamy tacos if that makes sense add some like fucking what whole milk yeah that's the thing i'm creamy? scared to put milk or, like tacos milk. like i don't know well okay i, I am i just gonna end up with milk steak you know milk <laughs> milk steak. <laughs> um i don't know if you'd want anything sweet well here's the thing why don't you just make a slightly cheesy cream sauce in a yeah. separate pan right because that's as easy as, like, cook butter until it foams, add in flour. Mm-hmm. For a roux. Yeah. And then uh, just add in the liquid that you want. Generally, it's a little bit of broth and a little bit of dairy. Mm. So, like, 
half and half or heavy cream or fucking good idea. D milk. I, might, I might do that. And then you could, yeah, and then once you do that, you just add in whatever cheese you want to make it slightly cheesy. Add the beef in. Mm-hmm. You got your slightly creamy tacos. Probably best to use like cheddar or something. Yeah, probably. Just kind of making a mac and cheese sauce at that point. <laughs> Which is, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Trish and I made beef stroganoff this week, making our own like sauce sure. that way and it was pretty good nice yeah it was better than store-bought which is what matters and it used very few ingredients which is also what matters if you do make your own cheese sauce you want to use like a sharp and like a young cheese or else it'll get clumpy i was i was literally thinking to myself when he said that i was like how do you know so much about cheese and then I was like, he's from Wisconsin. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it comes into you like fucking you're born. Just... <laughs> like uh, oh, Texan you, knows you, he all said the, the word the cow. Yep. He said the word a young cheese, like that's like a high level of like thinking about cheese for me. You know? Yeah, we're, we're, talking, we're, we're talking about a dude that still was all like, Yeah, what's your favorite cut of meat? What's your favorite cut of steak, Darius? Jewel steak. Jewel steak. Jewel steak. <laughs> yeah, steak from Jewel. <laughs> Chulasco. <laughs> Chulasco steak, <dog. laughs> That's all right. That's what we're here for. Yeah. What is your favorite kind? My favorite kind of steak? Yeah. Probably prime rib. Yeah. Yeah. Or New York strip. Sure. Probably. That's probably ribeye. That's probably pretty basic, though. No, that's fine. I'm just not a big fan of fat on my meat. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like. That doesn't make any sense. It's because <laughs> you can blame Mike. He would always cut the, <laughs> he would always cut the fat off the oh. steaks. Sure. But granted, my dad would always overcook steaks, so the mm. fat wouldn't be good. Mm. So, like, when we cook good steaks, like, cook them very well here, I'll mm. eat the fat now. Yeah. But, but the steaks your dad made us, were those ever cooked? Because those were delicious. Those were no, those were good. Yeah. When, when I was young, he would overcook <laughs> He's <steaks>. improved. Yeah. <laughs> it took 27 years. I was going to say, you want to eat Wagyu. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd super want to eat that's Wagyu. That's all fat. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay because it's not, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, hunk yeah. fat. You yeah, know, yeah. it's not like. Can you get that over here? Or is that only in Japan? No, you can. You can import it. Yeah, I wouldn't trust any market around here that labels their thing right. as wagyu, because it's like, no, is it's it? not. <laughs> it's not like A five or anything worth it. Yeah, <laughs> Darius is just like, what the fuck is A five? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what A five means. It's the best cut of steak. Like the marbling of the fat and the uh, lean meat is perfect. Yeah, as good as you can get. It's expensive. Mm. Very expensive. <laughs> All right. We good? I think we're good. You good, uh, Noah? I'm good. Let's head up disc replay. Oh, <laughs> God. Dude, if they have fucking Shaolin Monks. We're heading over. We're, we're going. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for taking time every day to listen to us. I appreciate it. You're the yeah. best. We love you. We love all of you. Rest. Stay sweet. Stay gold. <laughs> no, stay sweet. Oh, man. Now remember, February twenty fourth. Keep it in mind, viewers. Hey, it's a free game. You know? It's a free game. Who, pay, who passes up a free long. game? <laughs> everybody, everyone who listens to our podcast. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for listening.